forget that name. Shut up, Norman. Hero of the Hunt. No, you are not. LaGuardia, Cessna 365, now 1500. We are heading for the Hunt. Negative. Disregard that last transmission. Okay, you need to return to LaGuardia. Negative, that was transmitted in error. Take your hand off the mic, Norman. We are going down. No, we are not. We can get a view. You want to try to land runway 13? Negative, everything's fine here. We're continuing as planned. That's it, Norman. I'm plugging out your intercom circuit breaker. Birds. What the deuce? Oh, shit balls. Shit. Stop the stopwatch. And up we go. Oh! When you. Oh, he's having a baby. He's, he's, he's lost. Just please rock him back and forth. Look. So I have to start the whole shot again now, the whole thing all over again. And I said, right. 07020 knots. And I'm facing right into the window. New York helicopter terminal. And I can't remember the name of the fucking place. So now I have to go look it up. Hmm. Here we are in Manhattan Heliport, and we're going to take off with this micro light. We're going to climb to the top of the building three times, come back, and then start stop the stopwatch. So where's my stopwatch? Bollocks! I've lost an engine. I've hit the I've hit the right prop on the runway. Just go down. Just touch it. There we go. Good. Oh whoa! Am I alive? Oh Jesus Christ! Where's the runway? There it is. Oh yeah, there we go. We're gone. We're gone. That's what happens when you go below blue line speed in an engine failure. What is it? Pitch dead. There you go. Top's coming up. Hold it level. Is it going to stall? Otherwise. Oh no! Don't do this to me! It's too late! It's too late! Just don't stall and go into the water! Oh my god, that is fuck! Adding power. I don't think you Oh, I missed it! Shit! I fucking crashed. Fuck! Oh, this looks really bad. Brace for it, man! I've got to try and stop this before the end! No! Try not! Do or do not. Oh, thank God. Yoda, you are so wise. <sighs> Nothing more will I teach you today. At last, I'm going to steal an airplane. Yeah. Hiya. Oh, yeah. You okay? Yeah, can I have a look around? You can. Can I help you? Are these keys for assessors? There we go. Nice, simple start. In real life, when you're flying, you've got your life in your hands. So it's very, very important, obviously, to have the appropriate licensing, the appropriate training, including safety training, etc., etc. Whereas, when you're at home, in your flight simulator, there's no risk at all. Okay, she wouldn't even shake my hand at this point. It was going very, very badly, and I had probably made a fool of myself. But then it dawned on me, the four magic words, I have a jet. How long will you fly with this ship? Well, we go around Rick, though, a little bit. Oh, no, but when we will change the plane, you know, for the private jet, what you told me, champagne. Oh, yeah, uh, I lied. Hello, everybody, and uh, today is a very, very special video. Uh, we're going to announce the winners of the shout-out competition. This next channel is called Reaction Review, and I've got to say, uh, for an X-Plane channel, uh, this guy is putting in a lot of work. All right, I'm going to hit subscribe on his channel, and you should as well. <laughs> up again I'm way too high and I've got to do the whole shot all over again which is fucking fantastic recording sound no! where's rain where is King rain gone Fucker! this doesn't stop now I'll have to do this take all over again and I won't be happy I'll not be happy please stop please don't make me do this all over again it's late at night Please stop. We're driving it in a bit. Hold on, hold it up. Oh, I that one up. And now I have to do the whole shot all over again. 
Brilliant. Fantastic. Mmm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Floaty, floaty landing. That was not a floaty, floaty landing. And I'm way off the runway and I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Just fantastic. That's just brilliant, that is. Okay, I can't seem to fly this at all. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I've bust the gene in it. Um, okay, I don't feel very comfortable looking at this at all. I think we need something that can handle the force, the G-forces that are by I sense much fear in you. Oh, God, he's back. I shouldn't have said force. How embarrassing. You know, the aircraft kept coming apart because it couldn't take the G-force. <laughs> You'll be laughing when I get this down without the force, Yoda. You are reckless. Maybe, but look what I'm going to fly. Mm. Well, I'm too heavy. I need to drop those fuel tanks. Or two. See what you can do back there. <laughs> okay, it looks like it, I can just about keep it. Oh, Use the force. oh God. Obi Wan is here as well. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, bloody hell. Target. Of course now I'm doing floaty floaty. This is just not gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the flaps up and drop the lift. Go! Oh. Okay, 140 knots. Hopefully I'll stop by the end of the runway, but I'm not too sure. Now, that seems to have done it. So Yoda, what do you think? See through you, we can. That may be so, but the F A eighteen has a much higher G force tolerance. How can this be? It's G force, Yoda. Mm. Uh, it's nothing to do with your forces. Dangerous and disturbing. This Look, let, let's be quick about this. There's the dark side of the force, your side of the force, and G force. No. no. We may also have a G force, but nobody can find it. <laughs> Time for murder, death, kill. bombs will actually drop. I've highlighted it for you. Oh, it's Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. How dare he interrupt my tutorial. Bombs away. This is the point where the front and back formation is sprechen. In the south, the Gegner has taken and on the stern. The attack of the das will das alles in order. My Führer. Steiner. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiner war ein Befehl! Niederträchtiger Treiner, der Feind! Feiglinge! Verreicht ein Verzager! Sie ist ohne Ehre! Sie wird gesaugt von ihrem eigenen Blut! Yes, I don't like trains particularly. I don't like them, I just don't like trains. Must be something to do with this freak. <gasps> oh, this is brilliant. Don't... Oh no! I didn't get the train itself. Cheeky bastard. If it's the last thing I do... Oh, brilliant, now my engine's dead. Okay, I'm gonna do a kamikaze. I'm gonna shoot the bejesus out of him, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna take the two of us out at the same time. You're going down, you bastard! Yes, I'm gonna get you now! This is just humiliating. There we go, chopping all the power. Chopping all the power. Bollocks. Okay, it looks like we're gonna make it. Power off. It's gonna bounce really hard. Ooh, a bit of a bounce. 
Bit of a bounce. Now, it's not over yet. I've got to steer the aircraft and then reverse thrust. I'm using asymmetrical thrust again just to steer it. No, go off the runway. I can't use reverses until I have it straight. Right, reverse. Oh, 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 bollock! That's what, that's, that's what that looks like. Brilliant, fantastic. Oh yeah, now I've had power and it's crashed. Brilliant. That's you, whole thing, all over again. Fantastic, reverse thrust on. Yeah, brilliant, and that's what happens. That's, that's, that's what happens. Oh, I don't believe it. Why won't this work? Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. Now I have to do it all over again. It's got all the cameras. And yeah, this is, this is just fabulous. Okay, that's okay. Now, let it roll out. No, Yoda, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so mm. busy looking outside and ignore the instruments. Still looking to the horizon. Never hear that. I know, Yoda. All my attention was diverted to making a video. You did my word, not did you? I used reverse thrust with the props out of sync. I failed. The greatest teacher failure is... Oh, you're just peddling easy answers. Pass on what you have learned. I've done it. Success. Hooray! A bit of a bouncy bouncy there, but everything's fine. I've organized, it's all good. Okay, breaky, breaky, break. Oh, not too much breaking, not too much breaking. <laughs> I have it all under control. Nothing bad's going to happen. Everything's fine. Bucker. This brings new meaning to ski slopes. Let's go. Sure, everyone's dead anyway. The aircraft's heavier on the ground, so. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Let's let's just get it started up really, uh, really quickly, shall we? Let's just move on. Some miraculous miracle. I seem to have survived my egotistical madness. My legs badly damaged as I neglected to read and understand section 5 of the Cessna operating handbook, page 5 dash wood label performance. Perhaps I could crawl. Huh? Oh, God. you again. Please. Oh, no. Is that you, Gentle Ben? Oh, my God, Gentle Ben. Greetings. Uh, as it turned out, that wasn't Gentle Ben at all. No, that was some other bear. It didn't turn out very well. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't Gentle Ben. Greetings, everybody. Greetings. I, I could get off my seat, but I, I discovered a new thing I can do. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Sorry, folks. This, this. Greetings. <laughs> greetings. I hope you're having a good week. Uh, and I hope you're having a good weekend. And hope all, all is well on, on your, your part of the planet. Uh, yes, we're in, folks. Uh, we're in the Shetland Islands, and we're going to land in all of the airports. Uh, so I say, Karen Clink, we've got all the airports tuned into the flight plan uh, from flightplan.to. For those of you on YouTube, the flight plans are the description. Yeah, and you can download the flight plan, and you can join us on the North European server. Uh, in fact, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, uh, and the Discord. Don't forget all that. But uh, hello, any everybody. Uh, so yeah, it's been windy. Yes, not the kind of windiness I would like. I would like more of a storm. That was not aggressive enough for me. Uh, <laughs> and some of you probably have your homes flooded and there's me talking. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's not aggressive for me. And I, you're sitting, probably your homes probably flooded. Oh God. 
uh, which would be terrible. We got lots of people this week. I didn't mean that. I really didn't mean that because God knows what's happened. Yes, there has been many storms this this weekend. Not a good weekend for real flying. Uh, not at all. And uh, yeah, so this is the tail end of the storm. It's still very windy. I think it's about 13 knots here uh, in Shetland Islands. We're actually starting off in Sumbara, Sumbara Airport, and I'm taking a Cessna 172. We're going uh, to not all of the airfields in the Shetland Islands. Uh, yeah, uh, a place that would be interesting to live. Would you get your Amazon deliveries, you know, to the I'm sure you do. So I know there's a lot more of you on here. You know, I know there's a lot more of you here than what's showing up uh, on the, on, on the, you know, on the tags here uh so oh my screen's a little bit small but that really doesn't matter does it there we go uh yeah that's my face welcome uh now i can see P uh, P pjr pjr welcome i think i don't think i've seen you before we've got two three sierra travo 10 florida fella and top gun uh pkr 55 i know there's many many other people there because i can see the airplanes but as we go in the cruise, uh, don't worry, I'll mention everybody. So, yeah, this is going to be tricky. Uh, look at the wind sock here. Can I speed up the camera? Where is it? There it is here. So let's have a look at the wind sock. This, as always, uh, on Sundays, is courtesy of Colonel Clink, who will join us shortly. Uh, there's the wind sock. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, you know, uh, 30 knots, you know, looking at that. Uh, let's have a look and see what the actual wind is in Sumbra, shall we? I give you the right, the, the real live weather here. Um, clear throat. So uh, the ICAO identifier for uh, is so just to give you a flavour of the madness that's about to happen. Uh, Echo Golf Papa Bravo. Yep, Super Cape. Uh, it is. Oh, it's only two sixty at twenty knots now. That's nothing. So it's kind of, you know, kind of disappointed. But look, what can one do? 20 knots. The windsock says a little bit more. I don't know. It depends on the windsock. I don't think they believe they calibrate the windsocks. You know, I, I tried to look at that's a good subject. Right. Before I say uh, hello to the comments, uh, I looked into do they actually because the windsock, you, when you get them, they come sometimes in three parts. So the first bit well, for 10 knots, it'll be out and down and then down. Uh, 20 knots it'll be fully extended the last bit is dead and 13 knots or more it's fully extended uh, I, I, that's what I thought but actually if you look uh, for it and if you can find it I'm all ears uh, they don't actually come calibrated you know you can guess but you know but that's that's a fair kind of you know assumption I think with the wind socks if it comes to the three sections like that anyway I won't babble on let me know if you know more than I do because uh, I did try to look into it at one point. So, who have we got in the chat? We've got many, many people. Let's go to YouTube first. We have, I just read the people who says hello, are saying hello. Uh, Cloppy D is with us. Evening all. Econists, these are all members. Uh, thank you, by the way. I, I want to thank all the members. Uh, because with YouTube, advertising, there is revenue without, it's like nothing. It's just, no, no. So the members keep the channel going, you know. Uh, taking along so thank you all all of you who, who are members on youtube so that was copy d equinus uh we have in car we have major uh h a h greetings major i'll just call you major if that's okay ian pollard is back with us matt is with us again in cars with a sneaky peter nice name sneaky peter uh, i haven't seen you here before welcome welcome sneaky peter says oh no i have the beta installed oh really the bait is there oh yeah okay the space is going on I, yeah i'm not really interested in that uh where are you now where's he gone it's called up on me you have had matt in car uh there are everyone saying hello ian matt uh sneaky peter oh dear okay so i'm sure sneaky peter you'll be fine i don't know equinus yeah 260 20 knots on my meter and you're absolutely right equinus barry hoon is with us greetings barry tez is with us again uh, Jason Splendly, greetings, Jason. David Taylor, uh, Shuffle Shoes is back as well, and a Gloria Lawman, Gloria. Is that a female? Brilliant, we need more female pilots. And Gloria, they're, they're just not picking it up. It, yeah, uh, there are a few, uh, there are a few, but not enough. I don't know why, it, it's a mystery to me, because female pilots apparently are quite good, I hear. Like, you know what I mean? 
it's it's uh, aviation it can be quite uh it's 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 like you know doctors used to be all male didn't they yeah back in the day now they're all female you know all the gps are female nowadays folks uh because i think i'm not going to get into that subject but sometimes uh, i think anyway they make good pilots uh i'm gonna shut my trap before i say something <laughs> politically incorrect you don't know what's politically correct and what's politically incorrect but i don't think i live in that part of the world you know i don't know so anyway folks this is about flying uh now <laughs> let's have a look at the chat on twitch uh i'm delighted twitch users we're, we're back up and running at 28 1080p and there's no mm, crazy madness uh there is let me know uh davo is with us lowly reaper is with us uh i'm good i'm good uh dragon 40 is back with us as well nemesis wolf good evening uh to you nemesis wolf uh dragon 40 and nemesis wolf they're chatting there between yourselves uh what's this two three sierra is gifting uh one tier sub to gripper sims community and their first gift sub to the channel so two three sierra gifted a tier one sub to windage oh great i, I that's but thank you very much uh that's nice to gift subs to people that's i must do more of that actually uh i'm i'm in fact uh what should we do one time you went to another channel uh and we gave loads of bits didn't we we'll do that again one day uh, who and mother of god who dares call me who could it be but only colonel clink you know greetings colonel clink greetings and salutations yeah, you seem very cool, calm, and collective. Or you sound very cool, calm, and collective. Well, you have to be. That's Indeed, like, we you do. Know, we might have a wee bit of windage. Maybe not as much windage as we hoped for, but I know. there yeah, might I'm be a wee bit of windage. It's only 20 knots. I'm disappointed. Only 20 knots? Yeah, I'm, I'm very displeased. That's, I, that's, I want it. that's not windage. That's just a breeze. That's just a light breeze for me. Yeah. Uh, like breeze. Uh, so the winds have calmed down. I was hoping they'd be kind of strong here. But as you said earlier, you were saying that the winds kind of miss Scotland. Uh, not know? not Scotland. but Sorry, uh, uh, Shetland. Shetland, yeah. No, Scotland got it heavy. But uh, the Shetlands, like, uh, looking at the, um, you know, uh, meteorograph and all that sort of stuff, like, you know, it uh, looks like uh, Shetland kind of looked out. Absolutely. Uh, Windage there is thanking this for the sub, and Tritz is here as well. I was just finishing off the comments yeah. there. People are chatting, so I, I've done that now for the moment. So, so yeah, I'm the Cessna 172, uh, and you know what, Colonel Clink, right? The yeah. active runway. Yeah. Is 27. 27. Uh, yeah. Right. Which makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. We nah, want to, uh, we want I, I'm going to take off. Yeah. yeah. We want to have a proper crosswind take. I'm going to take off runway yeah. one five. So yeah. crosswind and a tailwind, folks. Yeah. Oh, that sounds that sounds about right. That sounds sensible. It sounds more sensible. Yeah, absolutely. More sensible than taking into wind. So I said, and on, on, on this stream, I do everything wrong. It's like, I do everything wrong, and it's just very naughty. Yeah. Uh, as towards as what I would do in real life, it's quite different to the simulator. Uh, you know, always fly with full fuel. Oh yeah, absolutely. Always, 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 always we, fill those tanks up. We, we always, we always have enough fuel to do whatever it is we want to do. Yeah, <laughs> except, I mean, I've got what three, seven, maybe eight gallons. I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh yeah, that is, that is perf uh, perfectly acceptable. You know, I've got loads of car gold bars because, you know, as you do, uh, I have loads of gold bars. So I'm putting on some serious weight. Oh, no, it's out of CFG limit. Uh, that's terrible. What limit? Out of CFG. What's that? Center of gravity. Oh, the airplane popped in its ass. Do we do we need that or can we leave that on the ground? Uh, the gold. No, the CG limit. Like, you know, if you don't need it, like, you know, we may as well leave it on the ground, really. Like, you know. I'm trying to get the nose a little bit forward so at least I can take off. So as you all know, right? Uh, maybe I'll leave that at 600. So, yes, uh, I, I, you, see, you see, you can't see my screen here, kind of think I'm messing around with the. Oh, okay. Trying to, I'm trying to get the old nose back on the ground here. Come so on, I, nose. So, ATC told me to go to 27. Like, you know, that means like 15, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, just, you know, uh, exactly, that's exactly right. 
I think that's yeah. a bit too much, folks. Uh, so let's get this a little bit overweight. Uh, it's it's on the aft limit. Uh, it's out of limit, so let's see what happens. Uh, not, we are nothing right. bad is going to happen. Yeah, nothing bad is going to happen because I think it says here I max takeoff limit is 2,555 uh, pounds. Yeah. But we're taking off 3,178 pounds. Yeah. So it looks like it looks like it's interesting. Like you know, it's, it looks like uh, even during the uh, taxing, you kind of well, you don't feel the wind, but uh, um, you know the the plane behaves like kind of drifty. Ah, you're taxing already? Yeah, it's like I went to one five here, like you know, and it's like I'm flying a one eight two today just for the crack. I am also flying. Oh, you're I'm the one seven two. No, it's like. So I'm looking here, like you know, at the airfield, like so. We uh, are taking off with a slight crosswind, and uh, um, we have a hill right in the way, like you know. So yeah, no, that's perfect. Excellent. Yeah. So we fuel. We got fuel. Well, we don't have fuel. Fuel. Very little fuel. I've, I've forgotten okay, how much so fuel we have, so we're just gonna have to hope just for the best. Just put the heading book in the right direction, and we change and that to the heading. The mixture all working. We've got the mixture working. The that we're not using any props today. Uh, now, will you see? I'll probably run out of fuel at some point, right? We all know that much. But will I save the day? Will oh, I yeah. get oh, myself, abs absolutely, you know, yeah. from complete stupidity madness? Because I've decided mm, I put all my friends in the back and, and all that stuff. Don't want to care. Mm. Which happens, right? You know, it yeah. happens. Uh, so I'm doing everything really stupidly on purpose. And I got the flight plan. I think that's it. We've got to go then, don't we? We have. We got to start moving. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, let's start my engine. Next is Rich. And let's pop, pop clear this prop. Oh, nice clear prop sound there. Come on. Where's the engine? What's going on here? Oh, I've just got the engine sounds very low. That's all that is, folks. Oh, I've got my my headphones very low as well. So if you can't hear the engine sounds or the sounds aren't as you please uh, folks please tell me on the chat because if you don't think it's relevant for you it's you know if it, how do i say it's like you know when you're on a course and you don't want to ask the question because you don't want to sound like a silly billy but the, if when you ask a question when you're on a course you're answering it you're, you're asking for everybody else aren't you yeah so yeah oh park a big off it's like um that would be useful so we're going to go back to runway one five. Oh, we've got a lot of power now Oh, because I'm so heavy. Oh, that nose looks a little. I'm going to trim forward a little bit. Need a little bit of power on. Trim forward. Yeah, because I got a, a rearward center of gravity, folks. Oh. You know, because I don't have to be, you know. Just a little bit. Just a wee bit. So runway one five. Okay, so it looks like I'm taxiing to runway one five. Am I? No. Where's one of my one five? Let me hop out here. Should have thought about that. Um, it's like uh, if you go, if you taxi to O nine, you will cross one five. Oh, I've been foolish. I went the wrong way. Yeah. I'll just do a U turn. Okay. Sorry for all those who are following me. Just go, <laughs> just go over the grass. Really, like you know, it's like never. It's not like you. Let's keep it realistic. Well, okay. Let's keep it. Well, I mean, Double here's feet. me after filling Double. it up with a, with a rearward center of gravity, can seriously overload it uh, <laughs> with not, not enough fuel. And I'm saying let's keep it realistic. But let's try. Let's keep it foolishly realistic. Yeah. Let's see if I can get out of it. You know, that's what we'll do. That's the trick. Uh, Aki says, Gripper Sim, do you know if the... Uh, Red Bach 3D sound pack for the, for the A320 Neo is any good? I actually haven't. S I saw it at the store. Uh, there's a sound pack out, Colonel Clink. It's in the store. I saw it there. I didn't download it, but I got to find out. Uh, yeah. I don't know actually. Um, if I get the chance during the week to do a stream on the A320, uh, I'll, I'll certainly download it because I mean to. I mean to. Uh, I, I just want to see COVID, Colonel Clink. You know, what? getting your life back together after COVID is more, it's difficult. 
It's more difficult than when we're, when we're in the, the permanent lock stance. Yeah, wasn't it's, it? it's 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 oh, it's much more difficult. Like you know, it's like uh, um, especially uh, um, you know, not that it is gone or anything. Uh, like because I'm overconfident, I'm not going to use the whole runway because I'm a complete idiot today. So I kind of think, go ahead. You're pointing the wrong direction, by the way. I know. I was just saying there, I'm not going to use the whole runway. Oh. I, I thought I could just do a quick chat while you oh, were yeah. talking. Oh yeah, no, it's like uh, um, no, it's like uh, um. It's never mind the, the whole COVID malarkey, like, you know, and it's not gone away and whatnot, like, you know, but um, people still using it as an excuse not to do things, and that frustrates me, oh. like, quite a bit. But I'll hear short for everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's just getting your life back together after this. Oh, tricky. yeah. It Where's is. Everyone yeah. else. Everyone else. Oh, so. where is everyone else gone? I don't know. Did you lose all the the the, the tags? Like I can't see it. By the way, uh, I'm on the one five. Yeah, no, it's it's a little bit. It's flight sim is a little bit. Everyone's there. I know they are. Yeah. Uh, but flight sim can be a little bit with the, with the other aircraft. Let's take off because it's probably too many. Yeah. Uh, sure. Let's the airfield and and everyone's everyone's ready to go. It looks like yeah. it's just usually we can see everybody taxi so. behind. Okay, so brakes are loose. Brakes are set. Full power. Prop is forward, mixture is forward, red line. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, no, it's like, ha, <laughs> Well done. Okay. I'm going to take off. Uh, ten flaps I have. Uh, I'm trying to take off full flaps, but I mean, no one won't go anywhere with that. Just for the craziness of it. Okay, okay full power. I'm taking. Oh, there's Colonel Clink. I see you now, Colonel Clink. Oh, yeah, no, that, is, that, was, that was very tricky, I have to we're say. Going, we're going. We're going. Lots of left rudder, and I've got to get the cameras going. Come on, come on, camera. There we go. Remember when we was talking oh, about the, left rudder. the the the? Hang on, the concentrating. Rudder. Okay. Full left rudder here. This is not. It's, it's, it wants it's to go up the side of the runway. I haven't got full rudder authority. It's only 20 knots. This is not like the real thing. No. Oh 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 oh. Bro. It's not like the real thing. Uh, that we we would have authority in the runway, so don't freak out too much, folks. So we're off the ground, okay? It's very heavy. We've only got 60 knots. Uh, I'm trimming now. A little bit too much nose forward there. Oh, it's very pitchy, you see, Colonel Clink. It's a rare word center of gravity. And oh, God, this is very dodgy. Uh, turning slightly to the west. Turning slightly to the west. Get rid of those flaps. Uh, I'm going to do a right turn. So this is, I barely got off, really, didn't I, folks? So, 70 knots, but 75 is, is VY in this aircraft. Uh, and I'm going pretty much VX here. Uh, let's just go for VY, which is the best rate of climb. Which is actually 75 knots. There we Oh, there's everyone now. I can see everyone. There's Paul. Paul, welcome. DYP's here. Uh, and many others. There we go. Now, I'm going to put it on the autopilot. Of course, I should have set that on the ground. Altitude, I'm going to set to 2,000 feet. And I'm going to set the vertical speed up to maybe 500, 700 feet a minute. We want nav. And now I put the autopilot button on and transition. Very nice. I like. Yeah. Oh no, it's turning like a crazy. Oh no, it's getting a bit confused. Okay, it's a little bit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Flaps are up. Gears fixed. Lights. Okay. Uh, Did you have the same problem with the takeoff that you had, like feck all of rudder authority? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, not it's, right. It's, it's no, it's definitely not right. Uh, I think in all of the aircraft. I mean, it's only 20 knots. I've landed yeah. 20, more than the 20 knot crosswind. The crosswind's 15 knots, I think, in the 172. Um, yeah, somewhere around 15, 16 knots, yeah. And I, you can see, sometimes you take off in the real world, and you're coming back, and, you know, where, nowhere else to go. You know, it's nowhere else to go. Um, but it's actually, it says it's a very forgiving. So, we got many people now. We've got... Uh, let me count. 2-3 Sierra, Travel, we've got Fallen Up, we've got Badge and Cowboy, we've got KJLCP, 
Uh, we've got Bar Bar, Burry 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 Burr, number one seven two. Solo Club, welcome. DCS Ducks, Lonely Reaper, Primary Ant. Uh, Equus Evolved. We've got Goofy ORS, Florida Fella, Sling three eighty, Rhodes, Maljon Whale, Maljon. Uh, now it's Maljon. What was Maljon Wales? Uh, I think you changed your name, Maljon Wales, didn't you? Top Gun. We've got uh, PRJ. We got Davo as well. Your Mama as well. Uh, Johnny F73, Nighthawk, Celebral Pair, DYP 19, 1397, Cross, Premier Ant, In Car. Have I forgotten anybody? I probably have. But I, 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 there's Jimmy and In Car and Premier Ant and Travo. That's right. <laughs> Davo. Davo is saying, like, you know, that I may, may have had a few uh, wing strides. In all fairness, I'm still surprised that the wings are still attached to the bloody thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I nearly went off the runway. Oh yeah, absolutely. Takeoff wasn't so good. Oh no, it was it was like a shambles. Uh, interestingly enough, when you're flying in the real world, responsibly of course. Windmills are a great indication to see where the wind is coming from, but you gotta know how they're constructed first. Yeah. So you can see we're kind of going into the wind there. Uh, oh no! No 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 no. No, no, the wind is coming from the west, so these windmills aren't actually tilting into the wind, Colonel no, Pink. Absolutely not. But the real world, of course they do. Uh, don't they sway into the wind? Would that well, make sense? It's like, uh, I don't know if they sway or if there's a motor which they uh, put them in there because if the wind is too strong, they, uh, um, they also. Uh, um, take the uh, blades out of the wind like you know if you know what i mean yeah i get that but don't they s twist w depending where the wind is coming from yes absolutely yeah from right there i take a little bit of power pack just a wee bit stop the red flash in there and there we go <coughs> so got to be this is our first airport already is it no no uh let's zoom out a little bit now, DCS Talks, if you're watching this, I haven't forgotten because I'd like to get into DCS World again. Um, <coughs> DCS Talks, everybody, is DCS. is a DCS World, isn't it? So, I will... I'm, getting, I'm keeping that in mind because I would like to get back to DCS World. Uh, I think, Colonel Click, you'd be interested in that, would you? At some point. At some Maybe point, not on yeah. a Sunday, but... No. I'd like to get back into DCS World. I don't think you've tried it, Colonel Clink, have you? Um, I can't remember, to be perfectly honest. Did I ever send you videos on it? Did I ever send you a video in DCS World? Um, I don't think so, no. Okay, I'll send you one during the week. Uh, it's a military combat sim, all sorts of... It's been around for a while now, it's really, really cool. Like, I, I bought the FA-18 Hornet. Yeah. It's a lot, it's like study level as much as they can study level so you got to figure out how to you know navigate and all that kind of stuff uh, it's very very exciting especially with the headset on you know so our drift here by the way seems to be accurate uh, it looks like oh, isn't my radio stack Pointing. Uh, my radio stack, uh, my SciTech radio stack has decided not to work today. Maybe there's an avionics switch in here, which is unusual because. Um, the light should be on. Uh, I'm not getting any indications from my SciTech radios, which saddens me. The Onyx are on. Uh, it's just blank. Anyway, what can one do? Uh, I didn't do any fuel. I didn't do the checklist properly at all. I didn't even have the fuel pump on after takeoff and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so no, uh, my side tech isn't working, which is an awful, an awful pain. 
so we've got a little bit to go. Uh, we're going like a bat out of hell here. Now, what I was going to show you was the drift. See, we're heading 00, 090, 080. And our track over the ground is 018. So we've got 10 degrees drift. So in other words, uh, we're as you can see here in the picture here, if I can zoom it in even more, no, that won't help. But you can see we're facing more to the left here than the, than the we're facing into wind, that's what I'm saying. It's our drift angle. Uh, so that's all very good. Let's have a look and see what it's looked like outside. It's not bumpy either. Well, we're off the sea, Colonel yeah. Click, you know. It's not going to be bumpy yet, it's but it will be. So far. Yeah, because the wind is coming over the sea and then you don't get any turbulence. And I do like the fact uh, the Microsoft, it actually. It's so clever because you go over the hills, Colonel Clink, and you know this from flying in the real world, yep. is that you get the bumps, you know, depending where the wind is coming from. Which is very Absolutely. interesting. I've got my landing light on there, don't I? Let's take off my landing light. There we go. There's DCX Ducks in the H135 the helicopter. Um, keeping up nicely. Uh, really the lads are quite behind the Kit Fox. Oh, poor two, three stairs in the Kit Fox. That doesn't go too fast. Let's see what's ahead here. Not a lot of mountainous terrain. Because uh, we're getting used to the mountainous terrain, Colonel Clink, aren't we? With with your last few flight plans. Yeah, there's, very little. there's, there's a few hills there, and that's pretty much about it. So we're taking our turn for the, for the next airport. This is going to be a dodgy landing. Okay. Uh, it's going to be dodgy landing. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can go off Alpha Tango, which is uh, Tig, Ting, Tingwall. I can't pronounce it. Uh, Tingwall. Ting, 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 Tingwall, Ting, Tingwall. Tingwall, Tingwall. Yeah. So we're barreling in. We're going to do a VFR approach. Oh yeah, and I'm there's just. There's a few more 150s or 172s ahead. Just going to do like a normal overhead on this thing. Yeah, as, I, as, I w as will I. As will I. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to choose... I'll just land on the old runway. Because I'm not taking this seriously today. I'm doing all the foolish things. Which, you know, very naughty. So, it's like, because there's a... There's a, you know, a good old crosswind there. I don't use more than 20 flaps. Like, you know? It's like uh, that. That was frizzy. Frizzy er has just followed. Frizzy er. Frizzy. Welcome. Frizzy. I call it frizzy. F or I Z Z Y. Okay. And four oars. I call you frizzy, if I may. Frizzy, welcome. Welcome to the madness. Uh, crazy madness Sunday stream. The the day where I do everything wrong on purpose. <laughs> to see what'll happen. So, right. Uh, so see what'll happen you know all very very safe and kosher like we, 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 we you know we can see can see we have plenty of fuel on board oh yeah obviously uh, i've forgotten about the fuel so oh, we have, it was full before we left we don't have to check if it yeah all that kind of stuff happened <laughs> oh god uh you know you see what actually happens is when an engine fails there's plenty of fuel on board believe it or not here, look at that. I like that. Yeah. I like that a great deal. Yeah, no, they, cool. did, they did. They did. They did a good job here. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah. This is the updated one, isn't it? Well, it has the UK update thing up in there, like you know. Yep. It's updated with the UK version. I can't quite pop over to see the runway. I can't kind of pop over my head over. So it's so. like. Um, I'm just uh, uh, right overhead. So I think I would take an overhead for a right down wind. Oh, I do a left down wind. The southerly runway. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, so here we go. Oh, let's get, let's fly. Autopilot off. Power back. Uh, trim me, trim me, trim, trim. Let's 
cylinder pretty quick. We're activating. Oh, is that going to work? Of course, my gripper sim mug is in the way. Uh, my gripper sim mug does appear to be in the way, folks. The gripper sim mug is never in the way. It's way my tracker. My tracker. Now it should work. There we go. There's the one right there. No, it's not. It's there somewhere, I hope. We've got a serious tailwind now. Let's keep the old speed up. There we go. Let's keep it about 90 knots. Let's take a right turn. We've got a blistering crosswind now of 18 knots. It's fun to see where the runway is. It's not the longest one way in the world. No. Oops. Where's it gone? There it is. Decluttering. Oh, 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 oh. First side flaps. So we've got the wind. We've got a 30 knot crosswind. It's not bad. Feet on pedals. Gears fixed. Uh, I'm going to come to a halt, and I'm going to take off. We need to come down at 75 knots, to be honest with you. A little bit fast. You know, a little bit fast, but we're coming down. Speed's going to drop off. Oh, that's a lovely gesture at the beginning of the runway. Do you see the angle there where, I'm, where my head is? As to the runway. See that? That's not very... I'll get on the centre line, course. So straighten it up with the left rudder. Left rudder, please. Where's the left rudder gone? And wing into wind. Full left. Nice no, 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 it's done it again. <laughs> no, no authority, no, no authority. The rudder, and that was only 13 knot wind. I mean, come on, they're gonna have to fix that, folks, aren't they? Yeah, so I'm going to just get back on the center uh. line. Oh, there's another one where everyone's doing it. Don't feel bad with that, Mr. Folks, because that is not behaving like a real airplane. Uh, Okay, so everything is forward, 70 knots, short final. Oh, where are you? Are you on final, Colonel Clink? Short final, yeah. Which, on, which on, on O2. Can't see you. Uh, no, can't see you still. Trevor, welcome. Copper Hash, welcome. Smurf, I think I mentioned you earlier, earlier on. Colonel Clink, you might pop in hopefully in final. There's DCS trucks in the helicopter. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier on, don't forget to add my call. Yeah, no. And, and see if he wants to this is not that. right at all. Oh, you, you landed, I didn't see at all. Yeah. Uh, cars having problems as well. But it can be done. It's just when the, all the wheels are on the ground. Maybe, I think, you know what? You see, I'm going to try it again, right? The bizarre thing, it, it, it nearly felt like it had a nose over. Yeah, it does that. A car, kind of cartwheels on the two wheels, the nose wheel and the, and the right wheel. And, I, and if I push down on the nose wheel, we should never need to do in the real aircraft, really. No. Uh, maybe it's because the nose wheel isn't touching the ground, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Well, I, I, I don't want to fly differently than I would in real life. I'm not going to get any bad habits here. It's like, uh, that that just doesn't feel right the way it we, behaves, but... We, we should yeah. send a complaint to Microsoft. Absolutely. I think they're aware of it, actually. I hope so. Uh, I think they may be aware of it. If, uh, anybody know if they're aware of it? Um... I think we got... Oh, thank you, moderator. Thank you very much. I think that was just some nonsense text coming in there. Uh, Frizz is saying, where are we flying? Well, we're flying in the Shetland Islands. We just landed in... I can't pronounce it. Tingwall. 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 Golf. Yeah. Echo Golf. Echo Tango. You'll see it in the flight plan in the description of the video on YouTube. Right. And you'll see it in the Discord. So. As well, let's go. We take off for the next one, Colonel Flake. Oh yeah, absolutely. I just turned around here and uh, I make a shambles at the takeoff. If it behaves the same way, then earlier on. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So at this point, uh, the wind is coming from the right. right so so I'm take off. Okay. So vertical speed. Do, 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 of course, do. I'm not using the whole runway because it's again, again. What's going to happen if you don't use the whole runway? You're asking for trouble. Okay, so, so ailerons, ailerons are in the wind. Left rudder. Full power. Rudder. Actually, it should be like this. Right. Let's go. 
Yeah, no, no, no run of authority. It just goes wherever it wants to go. 20 knots. We're having difficulty, folks. Oh, 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 oh. Keep, don't crash. Slowly, slowly, stop. Very pitchy because we're at center of gravity. Take it easy, grab for Okay. Easy now. Oh. It's very pitchy. No, it's like... Never mind the pitchiness. Like yeah, that's because that's my set rear with center of gravity, my crazy madness. It's it's absolutely no no rudder authority whatsoever. Yeah, it's pretty tough. I'm stop lower that now. See how dangerous this is. Without using the whole runway, folks. So I wouldn't have this problem if I used the whole runway. You see what happens? Yeah. And look, I'm taking off into the hill at 53 knots, dumping the flaps. It'll sink a little bit, but I'll get away with it. And really, you, you know, if I was in this situation in real life, I would be pan I would be breaking it. Straighten the wing. Right. Just keep it. But where we're done the old. Just see how dangerous this is. Look. Like a full power. Yeah. And I'm not going to make it. Just see, I'm not even going to... Oh, well, the wind is coming from the west. That's the only thing I have. I, I just barely making it over the hill. I'm in ground effect now. Come up. Come up. Look. Producer buttons is furious. Look how close I was to the ground. And we're, we're okay. So I'm going to lower the nose a bit. Take a right turn. See, that's dodgy. That's dodgy. Overweight. Producer buttons is kicking off because she's very, very concerned as to what's yep. going on. And... Yeah. 60 knots now. We're looking good. Oh! I had 20 flaps. No wonder. I had 20 flaps. No wonder. I thought I had 10 flaps. There you go. Oh. Do you know why? Do you know why that was? You didn't pay attention. No. It, I, looked it, at the, I looked at the indicator, but the steering wheel was blocking it. Uh, That's producer buttons. Now blocking the camera. Producer buttons is very displeased with what's been going on. Uh, not very happy. Uh, she always does this when she's, you know, upset with my flying. She's saying, you gotta stop this gripper sim. Oh, what? Oh, there goes the, there goes the engine. There goes the engine. Uh, you, dead ahead. You broke your engine? Uh, I must, I don't know why the engine would have stopped, Colonel Pink. Oh dear. 65 knots, best glide speed. Uh, dead ahead is all I can do. Uh, dead ahead. Uh, I'm sinking like a lunatic here. I'm not going to make... I'm, I'm going to go into, this, into the... Oh, God. No, I'm going to make that hill. Okay. I don't want to turn the aircraft too much. I'm happy for the airspeed. Producer Buttons is not happy at all. Not at all. Don't hit the tree, Gripper Sim. I'm going to use this to my advantage. The hill. Don't nice landing. Oh, producer buttons. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, producer buttons. Producer buttons is not pleased uh, at all, uh, and she wants a treat. <sighs> sorry about this, folks. <laughs> I'm really sorry. This only happens when producer buttons. Every time I stream, isn't it producer buttons? Every time I stream, she wants a treat. So, park a break on. I hope uh, and, and I'll be back in two seconds because the producer buttons won't leave me alone until I get producer buttons a treat, as you all well know. You should, you so. should come prepared and have the treat in your pocket. I can't do that either because she can smell it and she goes absolutely ballistic. <laughs> you're too clever, producer buttons, with your Jedi ways. Stay there and wait, please. <laughs> oh dear. It's bribery. That's what it is. That's what it is. Now, producer buttons. Say thank you to everyone for all the subscriptions. There you go. Here you go, producer buttons. Now, a great time for producer buttons to kick off is when I have an engine failure. Yeah. 
So that seemed to have gone well, considering. You know? Let's not make the same mistake again. <laughs> Let's not make sure the same thing happens again. You know, that would be bad. Uh, you know? We've got a bit to go, don't we? Yeah, we got a bit to go. Now, we got plenty of fuel on board, Colonel Clink. Yeah, that's good. We can start the engine again. I can make off. I'd have to see. It's just, it's just incredible. It's just absolutely incredible. Uh, I didn't even have a chance to use any flaps. Ten flaps, I hope. Better be. And off we go. Uh, now, I would say the real thing, if this is in the real world, there's no doubt I should really be taking off into the west and then turn into the west here. I've like got a full rudder to the right. The real thing, it would have been a little bit rough than, more rough than that in the valley. Uh, depending on the train. It's a train. Oh, we're off. What's that? You have a train. Uh, the train would have been a lot rougher. Oh, the terrain. Yeah, I mean, we would be taken off again, that's <laughs> for sure. Um, but look, we, we it was close one, because I didn't think I'd make the land. So we're off again. Oh, everything's fine. Nothing bad's going to happen. All the flaps are up now. Uh, we're making our climb. And we're good. Sorry. Oh, I had the whole picture up there with... Oh, man, I need a producer. Producer buttons isn't doing her job. Producer buttons are not doing your job, matey. So we're off. Um, let's get the autopilot to chat about things that are, that are happening and, and stuff. So let's get the altitude. I have the altitude set for 2,000 feet. Uh, autopilot on. It's a little bit aggressive there in the old turn. Look. 30 degrees is fine for an intercept. Yeah, uh, it's gone. No, oh, no, that's okay. It's still no, no. I think it is. And and we're good. Full power's on. Flaps are up. We've only got sixty-four knots. We're climbing at two hundred feet a minute, and that that'll do. Let's see. Excellent. So yeah, you can see the difference with the weight. Uh the rearward centre of gravity and the lack of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> We're off again on uh, Cessna 70. That's the only Reaper in the Tomcat. There's your mum beside me, and there is GCS Dux, the helicopter. Let's have a close look at the helicopter. Uh, helicopters are coming soon. Uh, what they're, they're doing is blade. It sounds like blade theory effect, or blade theory, what's it called? Blade theory, with the props in the next update. So, um, that's going to be a bit more accurate with the rudder, I think, Colonel Clink, because what they're going to simulate is the actual, you know the way they've simulated the wind going over the hills and yeah. the mountains and all that kind of stuff? They're doing the same with the props now. Okay. So, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit better. That's why I think that it's, it's going to be a bit better. I hope to uh, fix the rudder thing. We like, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. <clears throat> so, hopefully, because at the minute it's just numbers. Uh, they did say they're going to get rid of all these numbers. Like, when I mean numbers, they have a chart. And they pick the numbers out of the chart for the Cessna and they go, that'll do. Whereas now it's going to be more dynamic with the actual wind. So the prop will spin. Uh, it'll suck and blow the air behind it. With all the aerodynamics involved in that, you get your, uh, your, get your, your gyroscopic effects and all that kind of stuff. Corkscrew effects. So, you know, the aircraft nose always goes to the left. Uh, with full power, etc, etc, etc. And with that, uh, I think they're going to have the wake turbulence. Oh, okay. But on a, on a light aircraft, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, it will if it's a 747 taking off in front of you. Well, yeah, that is, that is true. Oh, Lonely Reaper crashed. Oh, dear. Disgraceful. Uh, so, you know, that couple of minutes after a jet takes at least, off. At least he, he folded the wings in like an hour when he was down. Yeah. Yeah. 
I've got full power on, folks. Right, full power. And uh, look at the, look at the rate. Look at the. You know, we're only climbing two hundred feet a minute, do and we're at ten degrees. Do you have to flap out? No, I'm I'm heavy as be Jesus. I am uh, like a thousand pounds overweight. <laughs> Almost. What, what altitude are you climbing to? Two thousand feet. Okay. Well, it's a lot of weight. So now I'm beginning to build up speed now, man. The flaps are up. Let's just double check that because that did not happen. I thought I had only 10 flaps when I took off and I had 20. There we go. Cessna 172 and he has 30 degrees of flaps. Let's hit the button well, twice. They, they did that after the. Um, when they brought out the 152. Like the 152 had only 30 degrees flaps. And then every model, like 150, 172, and. You know, whatever is thereafter at only 30 degrees flaps instead of the barn doors. It's got too much wind drag here. Yeah, this is far too much windshield, that's it. Uh, when you when when you when you're looking at it here at the moment, right? It's like I slow down to 120 knots, right? And I only do 100 knots on the ground. I see. So, folks, we are going to uh, Fuller now. Echo yeah. Golf Z Zulu Romeo. Fuller. F U F O U L A. Yep. Um, so I'm going to climb it a little bit, if you don't mind. Why would I be? I know the RPMs flashing around at me there. I just. I know I'm not going at 2200 RPM, which should be the cruise, but we'll be here all day if I do that, won't we? Uh, it's not as if we're going to destroy the engine. It is a simulation after all. So I'm going to start climbing again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the autopilot. Altitude now set to 4,000 feet. You can see the number moving there in the upper right-hand corner. And so a vertical speed to 200 feet a minute. And bingo, we're climbing. Happy days. Um, let's have a look at the comments, folks, whilst we're on the way. And let's have a look at some viewage. Let's declutter just for now. And let's get some nice views in here. Let's, uh, okay, we're done with producer buttons now for the moment. Producer buttons is having a nice nap after all the excitement. You see what she does? You know, she waits until something bad is happening and then she goes, right, give me a treat, or, uh, and then I'll stop. Yeah, so let's get rid of my face. Uh, oh, here, oh, yeah, there was two bing bings. Right, there was two, one, I think, bing bings. Bing bings, yeah. Uh, Wonder Boy, uh, BE followed there, and sorry, I saw that and I went, oh god, better mention it. So, uh, <clears throat> no, no, it was Bernard. Bernard G at Echo Delta Delta Kino first followed. That was 12 minutes ago. And 20 minutes ago, Frizz, uh, we mentioned Frizz. And just now, a few seconds ago, Wonder Boy, BE has just followed. So thanks, guys. Frizz, uh, Bernard, or Brend, Brend? B E or N D? Is that short for Bernard? Bennett, let's say Freeze Bernard and Wonderboy uh, followed. Thank you very much, folks. And delighted, delighted. Uh, you think the Sunday stream is worth your time? Uh, yeah, we, we do everything wrong. Well, I, I do. <laughs> to see what crazy situations you get you get yourself into if you take things lackadaisical, you know. Um. Bernard says, let's have a nice time. Uh, oh, it is short for Bernard. Okay, great. Great, Bernard. Thank you. Oh, it's short for Barnhand. I'll call you Bernard. I'm confused. Barnhand. Barnhand. Uh, Colonel Kink. Yeah. Is this... Maybe it's from the north. B E R N H. A or D? It's burnt. Burnt. Is that a German name? Burnt, yeah. 
Oh, it is German. Great. Oh, it could be Nordic, like enough. Nordic, burnt. Brilliant. German, Nordic. Sort. Burnt, got it. Uh, I got it. Good. Uh, I'm good to go, folks. Uh, I hope my engines don't fail over the sea. Again? No. Well, you know, sometimes. You know? Uh. Possibly. Funny enough, at the moment I'm flying fairly economical. Bizarrely. Ah, it'd be fine, look. Oh, it'll, be, it'll be fine. Place your bats. <coughs> yeah, I, 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 I definitely filled up the air current crank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I should have done this. Oh, okay. okay. 20 flaps. Yep. Nosy oh. downy, downy, downy. Happy days. You look up here, folks, right? There's the RPM. So there's full full blast. Right, we pass, we're passing 300 feet now shortly. 3,000 feet shortly. So I've got 2,500 RPM. Uh, the fuel flows below that, so I'm taking the mixture back, and the fuel flow should decrease. And the RPM decrease there. See that? Only ten, and then it goes down. Oh, and it's going up still. Twenty. Twenty-five, twenty. No, it's so forward a bit, and then take the power off with the twenty that you that you gained. So we saved a little bit of fuel, roughly. Anyway, we're not past 3,000 feet, so we need to be a bit higher. So we're saving a little bit of fuel. I could take the RPM down, though. Oh, no, let's do this right. Fifty, sixty. Come on, seventy. Yeah, no, not forward. No. Well done. Good. Um, so we're kind of we're kind of lean there. Um, okay, I can see the island in the distance. Uh, we've got to fly back to the mainland there. We've got plenty of fuel. I'm going to forget about the fuel. In fact, I'm going to have to start descending. So I'm switching my vertical speed on the autopilot, and we're going to descend uh, 800 feet a minute. And that'd be, well, let's go 500 feet. There we go. There we go. Happy days. I said I'd clean up the cameras there. Uh, let's just do that now. There we go. Yeah, the landings are all the way like, unfortunately. Are you there yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh. How did you get there so, so quick? You know, fly efficiently. <laughs> uh. Let's just put the power on here, folks. There's so a whole rake of people here, like, you know, except uh, for... Oh, of course, I had a, I had the engine failure, didn't I? I had the engine failure, which is naughty. Uh, so I'm blaming it on here, full power. I'm redlining it here. I'll so, just take it. No, not a lot. Yeah, no, he did actually quite a good job. Um, Matt P is coming in in a 172, and... Uh, Looks okay. A wee bit drifty, drifty. Uh, yeah. It's like okay. you can't you can't blame anybody with this. Like you know, it's like if Microsoft doesn't fix the rudder, like you know, for fuck's sake. No, no. Um, it's a tricky one, I admit. It's it's, it's uh, tricky. I, when did this happen? When did this start? Uh, this I after think the last update. Uh, after the last update, yeah. So what's they change? I have no idea. 
Let's level off at 2,000 feet. Altitude. No, that's IAS. So it was the last update. This rudder thing happened, folks. Uh, the last update, which is a little bit... I, I, don't, I don't know what they did, but... Me moving my drink uh, around. So we're blasting along, redlining it. You've gone, you've gone very quiet there, Colonel Clink. Trouble comes in in one seven two. Break up line, Kodiak and Johnny F in a hawk. Excellent. We'll get the island in front of us. Let's see. At this. This island, the Shetland Islands are a group of islands. The Shetlands are yeah. kind of main, this is the main bit, and this is off that, so it's even more isolated. Absolutely, yeah. So what do they do all day? Is it a fishing community? I don't know, cutting the grass, I don't know. <laughs> Cut the grass. Lonely Rebuck does another attempt in a Tomcat. Let's see if he makes the runway. Yeah. Okay, autopilot is taking me back and switching off the autopilot. Yes. There's no excuse for Let's Lonely Reaper, over. like, you know. It's like, uh, you know, Maverick would do that, like, you know, with a snap of his fingers, like, you know. Yeah. Okay, folks, take the power off, get the cameras back. Come on, Mr. Mouse. Camera, camera. No, yeah, yeah. So, where is the runway? Where are you, Mr. Runway? Well done, Johnny F. Like, you know, he did a uh, very good landing there. Slightly overshot the runway, but only slightly, like, you know, nose wheel in the grass. Happy days. Oh, yes, I see it now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. First touch of flaps. Feet on the pedals. Windage. Windage. Windage says yeah. it's a tiny runway. Passage. It's like, that's not the tiniest runway we ever had. Real rushed approach. Oh, Gripasim oh. comes from the from the wrong side with the down slope. Yeah. Instead of the up instead of the up slope. <laughs> this could be very dodgy. Yeah. This could be very dodgy. Way too fast. Way too fast. Very foolish. Should have gone around, but it didn't. No, 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 <laughs> no. Oh. That was a hard one. Yeah. Get on safe, folks. Yeah, see, it did that thing with the rudder again. <laughs> did that thing with the rudder. This is this is just looks like we're, we can't fly, can we? Think with this rudder business. Um, doesn't it? So, I hope this looks good in video because. Um, the camera, if I look down there where I'm trimming, which I don't need to anyway, but it just goes like that, you know. So I hope it looks good. I hope it looks good. And I'm recording this landing. So, yeah, not the best decision. You see? Just take your time, isn't it? That's a crash right there. And of course, it goes so slow because. Um, yeah, I'm not flying it right at all. Come on. Oh, where's the runway? There it is. There it is. There it is. I'd like to sit higher. 
Can't sit any higher. Even this is a terrible approach. Let's see if we can just throw it in. Let's get all those letters out of the way. Still too fast. But no, that's okay. 75 knots is okay in approaching 172. This should should be a bit better. We still have a crosswind of 17 knots now. You know? I'm gonna make a firm landing. Rudder. Nope. 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 Doesn't want to stay on. Doesn't want to stay on at all. That's craziness. Can you even land that successfully, Claren Clink? It, it, it was like not pretty. It's like uh, um, just very hard, like you know, and like plonk it onto the ground, but uh, no authority, no. No, I have no authority at all. Zero authority in the rudder. That is not good. Uh, let's have a look at physical pedals are actually moving. Why should I have a look down here? Do you know, are they actually moving the full length? Oh. Are they? Well, it looks like it... It, it, it looks like it is. It, it moves the full length. Like, you know, it just doesn't do anything. No. No. If you look on outside, like to the rudder, like you know, if you look at the external view and you press the rudder pedals, it looks like it does go yeah. the full length, but it just doesn't do anything. It's it's behaving as if the wind is a lot stronger than it is. That's yeah. what's happening. Absolutely, yeah. It's like the wind is like way, you know, that looks like it's going to the stops there. So you know, it's only it's only what. What's it, 18 knots or something? Yeah, so it's like ridiculous. Thing at all. So we go again, folks. I know you've been waiting here long enough after my foolishness. So park and break off. And let's rock and roll, shall we? Uh, we won't bother fueling up. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's some reversing there in front of me. Uh, I've got full left rudder now. Full left rudder. But I still have a little bit of authority. It's Thirty knots. I should have stops up full rudder. No, it's not doing it at all. Very, very dodgy in the rudder, folks. Very dodgy in the rudder. Uh, taking off way too slow. It's just the worst. I do it. I do it now the opposite direction. Let's see if there's any difference in that. Uh, and of course, my aircraft isn't going to perform because it's seriously overweight. Yep. No. Well, it's like um, the worst. The worst of it is right. The scenery. That the, that the nose goes the opposite direction of where it ought to go. It is very peculiar. Yeah. Anyone see anything in this on the websites? Uh, Davos says my rudder's fine. Have you got more than one controller doing the rudder? Heard that that can be an issue. Uh, no, I've no. only got one pair of rudders, thankfully. Let's get the autopilot on. Uh, I just noticed that after the last update. I thought, yeah. no. So, I mean, I flew there, was it last weekend in the real thing? Of crosswind isn't an issue like that. 18 knots isn't. Now, I know you shouldn't be taking off in 18 knots. Uh, you know, but it's when not you come back issue. sometimes. It's not, it's not an issue. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Right, we're climbing 77 knots. That'll do. 450 feet a minute to 2,000 feet on our way back. Let's see what crazy madness happens on the way back. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure everything will be just. Everything will be just fine. Oh, yeah, it will be dandy. Yeah. Dandy. Let's get some eye candy in here. Let's talk about PMDG. PMDG, folks. 
That's DCS ducks following me in the helicopter. He's very, very good at the helicopter now. I think it is DCS ducks, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I think it is. Um, PMDG, uh, it's going to be out imminently, folks. Uh, let me just unclutter the screen there. Let's get rid of my face. Just for the moment. Let's have a look at the comments. Um... David Taylor, my rudder is good since last update. It seems the rudder wants to flip you over. It does, yeah. Uh, now, I, I can't see. I'm on, uh, the center of gravity is way off. I've ever flown like that in the real life, for sure. I can tell you that much. Uh, over Overweight, so I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> so we're on our way back. We're now on our way to Papa Papa Store. Echo Golf. Papa Stower. Zoot Tango. Yeah. Papa Stower. Um, so. Let us see. Uh, there's a few guys gone there already. There's DA62. There's Kit Fox there. Uh, there's Windage Father Ted. It's back. And uh, 23 Sierra. So yeah, it's definitely off, folks. I'll tell you that right now, okay? The rudders are off in the crosswind in Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment. Uh, I know this because I know I fly the real thing. Uh, and it's been doing that since the update. Uh, Goofy, uh, Goofy is struggling with the rudder uh, too, he says. So yeah, it, it's, it's not you, it's the same. They'll fix it as they always do, you know? There goes Lonely Reaper in the top cat. And don't forget, folks, if you want to join us, right, you can friend me and look for Gripper Sim Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'll accept your friend request. And you can join us every Sunday, 2100 hours on the North European server. Uh, if I don't say that enough. So the PMDG uh, had a few little clips uh, this week. Colonel Clink, did you know about this? No, I don't, no. Tell me more. There's a few little clips of the airplane and not not it doesn't give away much. It doesn't give us any details, but it's in beta testing. How long it'll be there, it's closed beta testing. Yeah, seventy seven. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh how long did the beta test for for? I don't know. Uh so it's this month. Well, hang on. Yeah, it's February, they said. Was it supposed to come out in February? Uh, I believe. I believe it's 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 rumoured to be, very strongly rumoured to be out in February. Okay. Now, it could be wrong. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, okay. Uh, PMDG are at study level with the big jets. And they're top-notch stuff, really. Now, have they got the vertical nav sorted out? You know? Because the Airbus won't do vertical nav, you have to do it manually yourself. Well, it depends what they implement it like. You know, if they're using stuff from uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, it may not work. Well, you see, they've been so long at it now, I can only presume that they're doing the right way. Uh, if there's any, you know, I'd be very disappointed if there's any if there's any old school graphics there. Oh yeah. From oh no. Sim. I'd be seriously disappointed. I mean, Jesus, that's charged with you, you know. Let's get it right, you know. Just get it right, PMTG. Don't have any of this old school. You see, it's a company, they're bound to do it, you know. Um, but I look. I'm. I'm. I'm certainly looking forward to it with high hopes because they do seem to be. Well, they do seem to be very clever. So we don't want any of this old school graphics. 
No. Or uh, a port from old school airplanes they used to have, you know. You don't want to have that. So I've got to keep an eye on the GPS here. Uh, we ain't far out. Of course, I'm bobbing along at 130 knots. So we're over here. Let's go to 3000 feet, shall we? Launching us over the hoods and everything. Happy days. Maybe four. I should have gone to four to begin with. You know? Yeah. It's taking its left turn now. There's a little lake. A little lake on top of the hill there. Interesting. 23 Sierra has taken upon himself to land on the hill in the Kit Fox. Uh, it's okay. Which is a bit of fun. So, I'm just gonna switch the autopilot off now. And yeah, we're getting very close now, as, of, as will I. We're high enough to make it anywhere now. Let's get my old. Let's get some light on here. Get some lights. I like my lights. Uh, I haven't seen the runway yet. I have to run right inside. I just do a left approach and do. Um there it is. I oh, know, is it? Is it down there? No. Yeah, I'm on a downwind, left downwind. Is that it down there, folks? That must be it. Oh, if I didn't zoom in, if I zoomed in. Mm, let's go the other way. Let's do this proper. <laughs> Let's go into wind. Oh, we're gonna have a crosswind whether we like it or not. Yeah, okay. but it shouldn't be as strong of a crosswind. Yeah. I don't think not, so. Let's let's go the uphill. Let's go the uphill uh, parts so we're on our left downwind now. There we go. Where's he gone? There he is, let's sit down a little bit. There we go, there's all the folks coming into land. Looks nice. Looks good. Decluttering. So here we are on the base. Trim, 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 trim. I'm going to make this a proper one now, folks. Proper landing. Okay, since right. we get applause for the last one, we want applause for this one as well. You want to reach for this one? I got applause for the last landing. I want applause for this one as well. Yeah. Yeah. You can see everyone coming into land there now. The brakes are off. The gear's fixed. Ds and Ps in the green. Mixture's rich. Car peat hot. Ralston harness are secure. Landing down on. Car peat cold. Landing checks complete. There you go. That's a nice standard checklist. Uh, you'll notice I say uh, gear is fixed. That is not on the uh, checklist, on the, you know, official checklist. No. The reason I do that uh, is because if I uh, ignore the gear every time flying a fixed gear aircraft, what's going to happen when I go into an aircraft with undercarriage? You forget to put it down. You're going to forget that part of the checklist. So if you say gear is, gear is fixed, and go, oh no, it's not. Oh, I put the gear down. And I've never, I've never for, uh, forgotten to do that. In, right. Uh, although they try to distract you, to make you do it, <laughs> uh, they will try. And and good, you know, if you do do a flight, if you're being checked out on a, in a, in a you know, retractable undercar, uh, uh, on a retractable undercarriage, uh, they're going to try and distract you, uh, and you get all sorts of bell warnings and stuff going off. People go deaf because you're doing the radio, and the instructor's giving you stuff to do, and. Yeah. All of a sudden, you know. All of a sudden, they do a very nice landing. Uh, with, you know, your gear up. Which is awfully embarrassing. Lots of YouTube videos of people doing that. And they're looking at each other, going, what the hell, what, what the hell happened? What's that noise? Yeah, it was the belly of the aircraft scraping the uh, asphalt runway. 
Yeah. And I don't want to find myself in that position. Thank you very much. Oh, there's no. All right, so gear is fixed uh, and down. Uh, let's get some plotting and go too fast again. This goes way too fast for me as well. We got six not tailing, but you know, we did it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Get in the center. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit of a tailwind piece there. Gotta make it a firm landing. Well, that was a tough one. Doing it Might again. as well ask for an inspection. Yeah, damn right. Well, right yeah. It's all over the shop. It's very annoying. It's all over the shop, but it's, it's not as bad here as uh, no. um, on the other one because it's not a full cross. Yeah, but still. Yeah, uh, it's still, it's not, it's not good enough. Now let me see when I add power. See the I've got full left rudder here, but if I go any faster, it doesn't steer. Uh, would it do it in another aircraft? You know, it's just the oh, what are you flying, Colonel Cake? You're oh, flying the, the Coronado One A Two. Yeah, so that's very annoying. Let's get rid of that. Kind so of it's thing. not it's not on the. Um, Nothing to do with the uh, 172, like, you know. Yeah, let's see where everyone else is getting on here. Here comes someone coming down. Come on, speed up camera. Come on, here comes someone in 172. And they're having the same problem there. Look, it goes over on the two wheels. Yeah. But they did well. They, did, they didn't do too badly there. They went off the end, but... That's because, first of all... <laughs> Don't follow me, because I'm doing it for the wrong purpose. So first of all, uh, I had a tailwind, and we were going downhill. Now you know why you 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 uh, you know you went off the end of the runway because you're going downhill, which isn't good, and a tailwind. So that that is bad, you know. Yeah, that is just really performance, bad. and it makes a huge difference. When I take off now, it you see it to be easy. Look, there's the wind there. So we've got a bit of a headwind coming in here. Let me show you. I'll do it one more time. Because uh, I'd like to just show that. Just going to do one more pro check on thing, guys. So let's let's go back up here. All right, let's see if you did a, a proper approach, right? Without the foolishness, right? Why? I took the flaps up there. Okay, we're going to hold something lots of them. Not like that. Let's just come out a little bit further. There we go, right? So... Here we go. Now we're in the right position, right place. Uh, one, two, ten flaps. Great. Many flaps. Coming back to 70, 70, 75 knots is fine. Oh, we got a bit of windage. Great. Bit of bumpiness. Bit of bumpiness. Now that's the stable approach there. See, I'm not winging it. Let's see how much easier this is. Uh, we are very heavy though, but we're such a gravity. Look how pitchy it is. Very pitchy. 83, I want 75. So taking power off. Hold the nose where it is. Uh, 75 is there. Adding a bit of power to 75 and pitching for speed. Now, I want to get on the center line. We've got 75 knots. A little bit of power. I don't want to land on the edge of the runway. We are dropping awfully fast, though. Yeah, it's because you have wind shear from the crossfit. So there we go, that's not bad. A little bit shallow, that's fine. Oh, that's the landing you want to have a look at. 75. Not going to use any more flaps, all the power's off. Staring at the end of the runway. See how much easier, slower that is. There we go. Let's do that thing again with the rudders. I can't, well no, no rudder Small authority. Lady. But still, you can see. You can see. Oh, I can really break the runway. So you can see the difference there, do you know? Uh, now I'm going to do the wrong thing here, so that was kind of the right way to do it. But now I'm going to do the wrong thing and take off uphill with the tailwind. Yeah, very clever. Are we all ready to go, Colonel Clank? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. Ten flaps. And it's going to take off, but we are overweight. Let's see how it handles. And full power. Off we go, folks. 
Oh, there's another nice one. See, so, yeah, he's having the same problem. He's all over the shop like I was. Bad. Yeah, he's all over the shop too. Poor fella. A full right rudder here, trying to keep this on the see. Oh, running out of runway and running 42 knots, pulling up out of panic. Stolly, stolly, stall, stall. Oh, very dodgy. Very dodgy. The big difference. Overweight. I've only got 50 knots. And the simulator <coughs> is the aircraft is much better performance in the simulator than it does in real life, I can tell you that much. In a Cessna 172, for example, current claim crash. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be flying around four people in No. No. I did it once. It was fine. But yeah, you're gonna use up so much more runway. And it's rear with center of gravity, and you're not even near overweight. No. Just doesn't feel very nice, folks, you know. Let's put the autopilot on. There we go. Let's get vertical speed up here a little bit. Let's see how everyone else is doing. Oh, no, I have to change this one. I can't wait for my box of buttons to arrive. Uh, I order, I keep calling it a box of buttons, everyone, right? It's the uh, Real Sim Gear um, Autopilot box of buttons. It's not called the box of buttons, it's G something or another. And this thing here is just very, I gotta s to switch from vertical speed to altitude, I gotta go one, two, and three. I gotta do three things, whereas it's adequate. But it's just a pain. Uh, and, you know, current clean cats at 9 wanted 2. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. It's like I... Oh. I, I actually noticed oh. the first first aircraft where I can't use all of the buttons. Engine failure, current clink. Engine failure. Engine failure. I hope you have the flow plane. I do not. I do not have, and I do not have uh, no chance of me getting back to the land. No boats about. Mayday, mayday, mayday. <laughs> now, the problem with this is you're screwed. You know, you're, you're going to go upside down, folks. Let's just see how I can do with landing this in the water. Uh, I'm going to have to stall it right on. I'm going to have to stall it right onto the water. Oh, it's already in. It's in. It's in. Now it would flip over in real life. Do you know? Uh, it would flip over in real life. So you're you're in the you're in the soup. Uh, will you get out? So how would I avoid that incident? How would I avoid that? Uh, plenty of fuel. There's what? Well, yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bring lots of fuel because what will happen is, can I do it? Can I flip it upside down? Can't, no, 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 you're, 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 you're stuffed. Boom. Yeah. No, it's uh, like. Give you upside down. In real world flying, like, you know, it's like, doesn't matter where I'm going. It's like, I have enough fuel to where I'm going, and then I have an hour's worth of extra. Yeah. I fill the tanks. Yeah. Fill the, fill those. Can I say the K word? Well, let's try that again later on. <laughs> I'm a sucker for punishment. Uh, yeah, let's see what that will give us. Let's see. Control E. Or what we do is here we go. We'll start here on the ground. Let's go up into the air. Let's not leave everybody behind. Uh, let's not be Paddy last. Control E. Oh, we're in a very unusual attitude now, folks. There we go. Are you having a rocket ship or something? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, back in the aircraft. We're back up in the air, all the pilot on. It's way out of trim, and we're back on our flight plan. Uh, have we got power? We have. We have power. 
Everything's good. And I really will hit the Y button now in a second just to get us going. Did you? What? Want to pot it off? There we go. So yeah, uh, you know. You're, you're asking for trouble. Going with minimal fuel. We're not checking the tanks. It has happened that... I want to make this video if we ever get back to making videos again, which I will. I have this ready. There's uh, an incident where an aircraft... It's always fueled uh, at the end of every flight. Uh, and it went like that for years. And that's fine. And they get in and they check the fuel and then they go. And it was always full of fuel. But this one time... We, we gotta go, we gotta rush, right? We gotta go. No. We gotta go. Um, and they said, look, it's always full. What are the chances they took off? And was it full tanks that particular day, Karen Clink? No. No. <laughs> Someone at night time needed the fuel or something happened. Someone took it for an extra flight uh, and didn't do the paperwork uh, and said, look, it'll be fine. They checked the fuel in the morning. No, no fuel. Uh, and they, they made it to, it was actually somewhere around this area. In the Shetlands, I think. Don't know. Um, yeah, it was. I have a, I have a report. It's ready to, for me to make a video on. Um, and it can happen. This is what happens, you know. So just like that. There we go. No, see, I have the altitude up 5,000 feet. Keep it at 2,000 feet. So this is the kind of stuff I'm just, for myself, really, folks, I'm just replicating all these instances and, and making all these terrible mistakes. Uh, that has got to be the rate of descent issue. The rate of climb. Vertical speed. Mm, minus 100. 200 feet a minute will do. Put a bottle on. Altitude. Boom. But yeah, you know. Uh, right, we're back on our way. I think I'm a little yeah. bit behind, though. I want to catch up a little bit. So we're coming up. Um, I think it's Stour now. Or something yep. like that. Autopilot off. Let's see if we can spot the runway. Well, we're a good bit away yet. So I'm just coming into the downwind. I'm going to do a left downwind on this. So I'm way overweight, folks, if you just joined us. And the reason why we're doing a left downwind is because then we're gonna land into the wind and not having like a, a what is it 16 knots tailwind yeah so I'm gonna come around and we're gonna land into wind uh, the rudder though there, there was no crosswind there's not really a crosswind the rudder still let's see what it's like in this one yeah no it's like here we we have virtually have no crosswind so it should be straight on the nose more or less mm. well the flaps are down brilliant yeah. trim it trim 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 it's fascinating to see on the simulator here for some reason maybe because it's not so tactile because i'm looking at i'm looking down here to see that and i can't see the flaps indications so i'm guessing with how many clicks I've done on this controller here. You can't see yeah. it can you See the little white controller there? So I'm going, right, that's up. I can hear the click, that's one, that's two, that's three, 30. Yeah. So it's, it's bizarre the way you actually leave a flap setting in there. So we're gonna come around. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna go overhead for a left downwind. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're going left downwind here, all right. And we're turning to wind. So we've got about 13 knot tailwind here, folks. 13 knot tailwind, there's the airfield. There's some of the peeps there. Very nice. Oops. Halfway down the spar. Overshot the want. runway a wee bit here, but that's fine. Walk. Let's sit up a little bit. Let's take some power off. So we're right on the money, a wee bit low, that's fine. Now, uh, a replay with this one. I have the recorder started. The recorder is on, under pressure, feet and pedals. So 
Zur Glück zieht er noch Mais. Ja, das ist So, let's start descending. Well, let's just straighten that wing there and get one to the flaps down. There you go. Good, good, good. Come on. Oh, I did a big, huge American circuit there. That's what happened there. Let's get right on that center line. Oh, nice big runway, too. Uh, this, this, this like landing like a wee bit of a crosswind a wee bit of crabbing in and then you kick the rudder in and happy days it does exactly what it's supposed to do on a tin okay cool there you go looking for 75 knots there we go a little bit high so wash i'll take that I love the way you can see the traffic uh, on the way down. Uh, well, it's 75 knots. There are thereabouts. Well, apparently now I'm too low. Oh. Okay. So, uh, we got a 6 knot wind from the left. From the right, excuse me, right, I'm 80 knot out front, easy. No flaps. It's Too like from, from the crabbing, it feels like there's more than six knots though. It's much easier to control the speed in the real thing as well. Yeah, 70 knots still fine. And there we go. Center line. Push down a little bit earlier than I. Well, lots of rudder needed. Oh, wow, that was a great landing. Now, if I put the stick forward, yeah, no, it doesn't do any good. Still, you know. Oh no, it's like uh, rudderly. It, to a halt here on the runway. It feels like uh, um, whatever, whatever the wind has indicated. Like you know, it's uh, as it would be twice as much. Let's go across and paddy last again, don't I? Yeah. We go again straight away? Absolutely. Or what time are we at now? One hour, 48 minutes. Will we I take the five minute break? I think uh, at the next one, we take the night five minute break. Okay, the next one is Scat Sta, is it? Scat Echo Golf Papa Mike. Scat Sta, yeah. Scat Sta. No, Just no, that's where, that's, that's where we are at the moment. Um, oh, is it? Oh, darn, so I didn't cross. So we we're, we're going to Unst. Yeah, to Echo Golf Papa Whiskey. Papa Whiskey. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, so the next we'll take the five minute break. And, oh, the big jet and everything. We've got 10 flaps. Up, up, up. One click down. Yeah, and full power. Off we go. Park brakes off. Uh, we're very, very heavy, as you well know. This is the biggest airport we landed on so far. Uh, oh, I didn't do the recording. Okay, we'll do it in the next one. Didn't do the replay. So full power. See, it's very slow taking off. We are going uphill because of all the weight. Oh, 50 knots, 60 knots, rotate. Up we go. Lots of left rudder on. 52. See how slow it's going? Taking a lot of runway. We're going uphill. 60 knots. Now we should get up. Okay, flaps up. Here we go. Half is on. Autopilot goes on. Happy days. BS. Uh, 500 feet climb. And we're going to the south, am I correct? Sorry, we'll go to the east. For the next one, yes. Uh, next one is a Papa Whiskey, which is... Performance is terrible. Papa Whiskey. Oh. Papa Whiskey. 
Good, good, good. Slowly. High enough. Slowly accelerating. It's much harder to fly than the real thing, I can tell you that much. I can tell you that much. Now, I think we can have time for chat on this one. As in, look at the comments. Autopilot on. Nice transition. And... Off we go, folks. Now, I'm going to have a look at the comments. I'm just going to unclutter the old screens a little bit, folks. There we go. Let's get a view of the aircraft nice and tight. Uh, a nice place to, to go flying, Colonel Tank, along with the real yep. thing. Who knows? Who knows? I might do that one day. Maybe. That's fortunate petrol, though. Well, you see. It's, I've gas. It's like, uh, what? It's only 450 nautical miles away. Yeah. So you could get there in uh, about four hours. Yeah, up to Northern Ireland. You know. Northern uh, Ireland, go to Scotland, and then all the way up. Yeah, I, I'd be. I, I have a friend who lives in Scotland as a pilot. Uh, he's, he's he's looking to buy a house there and everything. Ah, you could go and visit him. Yeah. So PMTG, yeah, let's see if there's any comments there on PMTG. People are thinking there. Let's have YouTube comments there. I'll just go back a little bit. Oh, there's lots of comments here that we've missed. David Taylor says, The rudder problem seems to have just happened, appeared in the last few weeks. Never had a problem with the rudder control before, but now it's extremely difficult to take off and land. So David Taylor has the same opinion as, opinion as we are, you know? Yeah, no, it's like, uh, definitely something has changed there, like, you know, so it's mm. not... No doubt. It's not right. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Highfly says, and he's quite right, you cannot set full ru uh, full throttle for more than five minutes. You have to go back into the green arc, else you will have maintenance problems afterwards in real life. You're absolutely right. You'd never fly, and in fact, you'd actually fly at 2200 RPM, uh, and I'm at, you know, red lining at 27. We probably would have had oil problems by now, but, you know, uh, you know, it should be 2200 RPM, somewhere around here, look. That's where we should be. Well, 22, 2300 RPM, that would be, depending on what you do. Yeah, so you wouldn't redline it anyway. So no. we go up to the end of the green there, because it's a simulator. So you're absolutely right. I always seem to do that in the simulator. 2400 there. Um, oh, God, we're going to have a few problems soon. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a prod there soon, Colonel Clink. Do you know? The what? I might have another engine failure. Uh, we, uh, am I boring people with the engine failures? Am I boring you all? I think we've done enough engine failures for today, Colonel Clink. You're running out of fuel again. Well, I can top it up. But I think we're only annoying people with my constant engine yeah. failures. Hey, so you, may want to, you may want to, to top it up this time. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll stop doing that. I can do that in my own time. So there we go. We've got lots of fuel now, folks. Where's the fuel gone? There it is. So there we go. We're at 2400 RPM there. So you're quite right, David Turner. David Turner says most of these islands are uh, uninhabited, used by crofters that put their sheep uh, during the summer. Interesting. It's like, I think uh, there's about 5,000 people in total living on those islands. Mm. And uh, 4,000 living on the mainland. 
which is the South Island, the biggest island. Mm. Uh, Flight Sim UK says, do, do we have the auto rudder disabled? Yes. Fully realism settings. It's the only one, the way I'll, I'll fly it, you know. Yeah, auto rudder. Uh, don't do any auto, any no. auto business on flight sim at all. No. Uh, uh, it's good for like real, real to start an it's, it's, I think that's a nicer view there, isn't it? Now, somebody asked me once, like you know, when I was flying along, like you know, where's the autopilot? And I said, you're looking at it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Blackjacks is uh, good afternoon in the middle of Washington State. Ah, uh, Chris Peterson, uh, there's only one wing. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Chris Peterson. Uh, Peters uh, or Patterson said there's only one wing because it's the wings. Oh, that's a bad habit I've gotten into. There's only one wing in an aircraft, uh, and not counting the tail really. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's one wing. Up with the old chat there on Twitch. Wind did such we did find a form thread about the rudder recentering, even though the full rudder is applied. Uh, are we allowed to post links? Yes, Windage, you can post the link. Uh, I don't know if it'll go on, what settings I have, but you can try it if you want. Uh, Windage has been here for ages, forever, and is a, a subscriber. Uh, for the channel, so you can trust Windage's links. Uh, yeah, pop it on there, Windage. First time chat reviewer, Fly Muddy, uh, 242. Do you have a crosswind? Always. Uh, this, this last few weeks. Yeah. On Sundays, we always seem to have crosswinds. But unfortunately, the rudders are giving us a pain in the neck. Because I love crosswind landings in real life, you know? Oh, they're fun. Uh, yeah. It's, it, you know, because it's something different. It's not hard. I'm going to just put the link there. So that's what the link is saying here uh, from Windage there. So uh, rudder recentering while applying full rudder. Uh, this is related to AI, as suspected. But it was also a consequence of another bug that I experienced a few days ago, indeed. Initially, I configured... Okay, so it goes on and on and on. So there's an issue there. Um, so that's the learning. So there's issues. I'll fix that in the next update, as you always do. Cool. So we've not far to go now, uh, and of course, current clink has put us neatly. Well, looks like the easterly runway there. So we'll come around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll come around. Looks like to to uh, uh, to a join in the downwind and uh, um, then land properly. I wonder will we be ever be to be able to change aircrafts in flight? Mm, I don't know. I doubt it. Why would you? You used to be able to do that in the flight simulator, the old ones. Um, you know, I would have by now to see if I'd better if it's another aircraft that will land properly. Yeah. Okay, so but I, I don't think it'll make a difference in this case. I have the runway in sight and dis disabling the autopilot and I just go into the pattern. Okay, so let's get ready for another approach. Up inside where we can see stuff and things. And I'm going to go uh, direct. So uh, let's see how this goes. Direct, direct, direct. 
I don't fly this aircraft enough, really. Direct, there it is. Uh, oh, can I type it in? Echo. Can I type it in? Echo, I can. Golf. Papa. Mike, isn't it Mike? Uh, oh, it's whiskey. It's whiskey. whiskey. Yeah. You can type it in, folks. You hit, you, you, you press here, and then you just type it in. Uh, activate. Please don't disable the whole flight plan. Oh, enter. Activate. Activate. Are we enter again? No. Yeah. Let's go on direct now, folks. There we go. Happy days. It's left the right rest. It's left the right. Blah. It's left the rest of the flight plan in order. So there you go. There's the runway there. There it is. Wind's coming from the west. We even have wind arrow here. There's the west. It's coming from 2 4, you know. So, roughly from the west. So, we have an idea. All the pilot off. 2,300 feet. And we're golden. Let's get a little bit of a high seated area here. Let's get my view in place. Let's zoom forward a little bit. Right there, maybe better. Uh, I'm using the Toby eye tracker. So, it's tracking my head and my eyes. So, it's kind of handy. I hope it looks good for you. A little bit more realistic. Uh, who else is around? Yeah, that's Scotland, all right, folks. So I'm seriously overweight still. Uh, I think after the break, we'll have a look at the replay. You should take, for those of you who've just joined us, you should take a break for just five minutes. You know, a break and start coming down. And you can kind of lean to the side and have a look at the runway, but no, the, the eye tracker doesn't do that on this one. That's a bit too much trim. Kind of guessing as to where the runway is. Let's take a right turn. There it is. There's the runway there. Just behind the seat. There it is. There's everyone going in. Now let's get my 75 knots straight off the bat. First stage of flaps. All good. Runway's way, way off there. It's a real American approach here. Let's just turn in a little bit. Right here. Good, good, good. Straighten her up. Low. Uh, we on shot final here. That's what you saw me there. Hard to see with these key lights in my face. Oh, you can feel the wind. That is brilliant. Blowing you to the right. Flaps. I'll give it 75 knots for sure. Come on. There we go. Is everyone else there waiting? Flaps, gears fixed. Very nice. Oh, 
on your nine knot crosswind today uh, at this airport. A little bit of a floaty floaty, I'm afraid. Let's make this a tip. Come on, down you come. Come on. Great landing. Uh, full left rudder. Nothing happening. Let's uh, taxi off to the side. <laughs> and we'll have to replay ready for whence, uh, whence we come back. That was a little bit more interesting. Very short, stubby runway, isn't it, Colonel Clink? Let's swing yeah. around and see if there's anyone behind us. If I can break out. It's like, uh, it's I, d I don't think they get any any longer than this now. That's great. Here comes one. We'll just watch this chap come in. Come, on, come on, speed up, please. A lot of people here today. <laughs> There's one coming in here. Let's uh, tag up. I have to activate the screen. We'll tag up, great. Uh, come on, give me some tags. Give me some tags. Come on, give me some tags. There we go. Look at all the peeps. There's Florida fella, Davo. ARH64 CDN, Strumpy Jam. Strumpy, Strumpy Jam. Uh, I, there's no tag for this person coming in. I'm just glad we're not petty last. Do you know? Uh, you're under pressure, whoever this is. You're just probably just as well. Oh, it's your mama. And your mama followed by someone else. It's your mama. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's 172s, yeah. Very nice, boys. Very nice. Oh, you're really following each other there. Very nice, boys. Uh, that was very good from... Oh, it was I cross. I was cross. Cross with lots of eyes in front and behind. There you go, folks. So we're going to take a quick five-minute break. Uh, and then we're going to finish off the next few runways. I know we, we started off this break because, well, some of you want to go and have a cup of tea. You yeah. know, which is very, very important. So five minutes, folks. Uh, and and at the end of this break, this quick intermission, you should know how to make a cup of tea. And now, let's enjoy an intermission. We hope you filled your snack bar full of tasty treats to eat and drink. Perhaps a tempty tasting hotting dog or a thirst quenching sugar drink. Some fresh crunching popping corn perhaps or an assortment of sugar coated sweetness. Even enjoying a sickness stick. We've plenty of time, so visit your snack bar now. See now, Mr. and Mrs. Barker enjoying and gorging on the lovely treats with their lovely children. You could be doing this too, you still have time. And for those of you tea lovers, let's have a look at some tea making tips. Yes, the most important tea making tip, of course, when you have time, is to use the right mug. Yes, the right tea mug is always the right way. Look for the Gripper Sim tea mug. Yes, it makes your tea taste 20% better. Now, don't worry, you still have plenty of time to make your cup of tea. Mrs. Ainsley Cretra, what do you think of drinking a cup of tea from the Gripper Sim mug as opposed to the normal mug? Lovely. Not everyone who can make a good cup of tea. Splendid, Mrs. Ainsley Crabtree. Now, here are the ladies discussing the six points of making a good cup of tea, and of course, the Gripsin mug will be included. Which number will it be? Can I remember them? Of course you can. Try now. All right, here goes. Number one. Mama, see the Gripsin mug. Always use a good quality tea. Yes, of course. Good. Number two. Always use freshly drawn water, right? Um, number, three. number three, remember to warm the teapot or urn. Everyone knows that one. And number four, measure the right quantity of tea Bada. for the amount of water in the pot. Very good. Number five, the water must reach boiling point, pot to the kettle, not kettle to the pot. And the last rule, number six. Here we go. Let the tea brew 
for five to ten Damn years. Damn your eyes, woman. God bless <laughs> Mark. Where does it all start? Sometimes here, with an acid stomach, or here, with tense, upset digestive nerves. It may even reach here, with that fuzzy, achy feeling in the head. Are you suffering from intermission anxiety? It's the acid tension trouble triangle you're suffering from. Yes, now there's a new anti-intermission liquid, Peptis Liquid Elixir. It will break that bothersome intermission trouble triangle. This fast-acting liquid has no need to wait for it to dissolve as it's in liquid form. With unknown ingredients, it will settle acid in your stomach and those nasty intermission blues. Side effect of peptides may include constipation, skin rash or dermatitis, diarrhea, dizziness, drowsiness, dry mouth, severe migraines, insomnia, suicidal thoughts, abnormal heart rhythms, internal bleeding, cancer, loss of sexual appendages, funny walk syndrome, loss of hair, reddening of the hair, big red nose syndrome, whitening of the skin, unusual voice patterns, childish behaviours, a propensity to blow up balloons. Death. Break that intermission trouble triangle with Peptus. Yes, Peptus available somewhere. Just a minute, folks. Yes, that's all it takes to visit our refreshment counter in the lobby. There you'll find popcorn and an assortment of popular candy bars to please every taste. Try one of these delicious candy bars. Big time. Ingredients include chemicals derived from petroleum. Butternut. Preservatives including sodium benzoate and sulfur dioxide. No nuts included. Milkshake. Including wood pulp and duck feathers as fillers. Payday. Including propylene glycol, carcinogenic flavorings, including trace elements of starch, strychnine, and Topped lead. with Hollywood's super rich coating of the kind you like best. They taste wonderful. They're delicious. They're nutritious. Get one at our confection counter in the lobby now. Now. from our esteemed producer. <coughs> Such kind words. And now back to our normally scheduled programming. <coughs> <laughs> We're back. We're back. So, yeah, let's have a replay. Uh, I haven't done a replay yet. Let's have a replay. This is uh, just turning final. Uh, it's saying I'm stalling. Let's have a look at the replay. Let's just... Stop telling me I'm stalling when I'm not. Let's resume the replay. Uh, and see how a bit low there, you know, just uh, a little bit low. Uh, yep, yep. Ten flops down. It's ten flops. I like the sound. It sounds exactly like the one Cessna one fifty. Uh, one seven two. Sorry. Fifty nonsense. There we go. Nicey, nicey, nice. There's the final stages of flaps to full. Thirty degrees. Lots of power taken off. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look bad. So it was a little bit more... Well, a nine knot crosswind is not bad, but still! I had full deflection of the rudder, so I'll stop complaining about that now. Let's get a nice side profile here. Oh, oh that was nice with the sun there. It's all about the eye candy, folks. And there is someone on the Tomcat there at the beginning of the runway. Uh, let's pan back a little bit. Just a wee bit to see. I did float a bit. Watch this. Didn't like that. A little bit of balloon, but you keep the control column back. Don't push forward. Let's just hold it there. I'd like to get the tail strike even. <sighs> Very close to getting the tail strike there, if if at all. Now, there's the rudder problems there straight away. Do you know? But it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Not too impressed with that. There you go. Uh, we've got now three more very quick airports to do. Uh, I'll pause the replay. Let's go back to where I was. Stop the replay and kick off the recording session again of the replay. So we uh, won't get done in. So once again, once again, folks, we're going to take off downhill. In a fully loaded aircraft, breaks are off. Take the flaps up, the flaps are all up. 10 degrees of flaps, please. Lots of power needed to carry all the weight. Uh, I'm seriously over. I'll show you one more time for those of you who've just probably joined us. Because uh, people come on and off all the time, don't they? Do you know? So, I'll show you the weight now. 
So this is there, ready to go. See the red lights at the end of the runway already. Yeah. So I'm not using the whole runway. Uh yeah, so you know, that's just crazy. And I'm I'm out of limits. I'm in the rear at CFG, so not good. Uh, way above weight. So let's see how that goes. That's another bug there. I shouldn't have to do that. Right, so full power. Keep my feet in the brakes. Now watch the speed which is here. And see how slowly we accelerate. No reading yet. No reading. Oh, full left rudder again. Uh, no need to have full left rudder. Uh, I've got almost full left rudder now just to keep it on the runway. So yes. Let's not accelerate because we're so heavy. I'm going to make it at the end. Uh, panic rotate. Panic rotate's happening. Panic rotate. Panic rotate. I'm not off the ground yet. Yeah. I kind of rolled off the end of the runway there onto the field. Danger, danger. Wind could drop. At any minute. And the ground is racing with me. See, that's why you should always use the whole runway, folks. Now this... You know, dodgy as hell. Dodgy as hell. Well, what did you do? I took off very little remaining. I took off halfway. I didn't use the whole runway. Yeah. And I had to. I, I'm calling it now a panic rotation. <laughs> oh, a panic rotation. And as you take uh, off. A good one. Yeah. Oh, there goes the wing. Almost, almost the way into the tree. Death, murder, kill, John Spark. All because I didn't use the whole runway. So that was the death. That was the death. Oh dear. That was a death for sure, folks. And that's that's what happens in the real world if you, you know, get cocky. Uh, still very bad. Now, how can I accelerate? Well, let's turn into wind a little bit. There we go. We're just f past 50 knots now. So there you go. That's a lesson. <laughs> uh, you know, you don't want to do that in the real thing. Uh, what is it like 44 knots stall speed on a on a on a, on a one, 172? E it's indicating 40 knots here, but that's a full flaps, I'd say. So yeah, you're probably right about 44, 45. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, see how dangerous that is, and and the, you didn't even notice the slope. A little bit of an upslope after we took off. You know, uh, and that was definitely a, a murder death kill situation. Uh, there you go, and it's so easy to do it the right way. I'll do it the right way for the rest of the trip, shall I, Colonel Plink? I'll uh, do it the right let's, way. Let's, 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 the right let's, way. Let's, let's try. <laughs> let's try. I can't help myself. But experiment. I can't help it. It's shocking, I know. Where is this GPS telling me to go? Uh, have I lost my flight plan? Did you screw up the flight plan when you went direct? Uh... Maybe. What's the next waypoint in your map? Uh, Foxtrot Echo Alpha. Okay, I see it. Let us do that then. Let's go direct and join it up. So, let's put the autopilot on, but this time with heading. Oh. I'm there, there already, uh, so maybe autopilot comes off. I meant to take the flaps up uh, when I got past that bloody stall warner. Okay, good, good, good. 68 knots. Very slowly climbing, so we're on uh, heading for autopilot. Autopilot on. Now, let's go the direct. So, in your uh, Garmin 1000, on the right panel, uh, direct. And you click it here, and I can go Foxtrot. What the deuce? Yeah, Foxtrot. Echo, Echo Alpha. Alpha. There we go. Hit enter. Twice. Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't know about that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do here currently. Is there anything on the way 
with his waypoints. I'm gonna go direct to no, the airfield. There's no, uh, uh, it's it's direct to it. Oops, okay. there it is. Cut the power, prop forward. I'm just gonna do a straight in approach, you know. Are you there already? Yeah, first stage flaps down. What? What is this? Echo Golf Echo Hotel, yes? No, Fox Hotel. Echo Alpha. Oh, I see it. Okay, sorry. I thought that was a waypoint. Four flaps. Yeah, I thought that was a waypoint. Slow this, it off. slow this bugger down. Okay, I'm going to catch up with you very quickly. A bit of a cheat there, folks. A bit of a cheat in my part there. Yep, that hopped. Uh, light speed, ludicrous speed. So, we are on the ground. Okay, I should be overhead now. Uh, can't really see much though. Of course, my drink is in the way. I'll get my old and mug out of the way. There. I have a vague idea where the airfield is. That bug, of course, you can't pan around and control the aircraft at the same time, which is an awful shame. Oops, somebody had a bouncy bouncy there. Don't have eyes on it yet. Let's do a, a right hand turn here. See it. Going very low. Interesting airfields, though, aren't they? Yeah. I think you're gonna like the very last one. I think that is the best of them all. Oh, really? Oh, great. Oh, I think I know which one it is. There was one here. I reviewed a scenery, I think, or something. I was doing something with the Islander, I think. I'm, I'm hoping that's the one. Here we go. Come on, come on. Slow down. Get some flaps down. <coughs> it's because I didn't pay attention. I had to cut the power and dump all of the flaps to slow down a bit time. <laughs> Crosswind again. Oh, I don't know. No control. No control. No control. No control at all. At all. At all. At all. At all. I, I you know, zero control. I couldn't even break in the left because my pedal won't reach that far. Uh, that was just. And I'm not going to do that again because it just has no words of authority at all. Once you hit the ground. Uh, please God, they'll fix that in the next update, folks, because I can't keep flying like that, can I? No. No. And I love crosswind landings. Yeah. And Microsoft at the minute is doing a terrible job of crosswind landings. There's everyone else. Will we go so again. You ready to go again, Colonel well, Quick? Well, I'm ready. Let's. Is everybody else there? That's the question. It seems like most, mostly everyone else. Let's have a look outside and see. I'm just assuming I'm Paddy last again. All right, there's still a couple of people coming in. There is, let's have a look and see. Let's see how they're getting on. Uh, here comes someone here in a 152. Here they come. Just get my camera there. It's very sensitive on the old Xbox. Very nice. Oh, you know. big bouncy there. Uh, 
Yeah, and, and, and he's kind of going, oh. And he's done the same thing as me with the rudder, and it's not your fault, mate. Not your fault, my friend. Not your fault. Making another one. Oh, he's just going around. <laughs> Uh, anyone coming the other side? No. All right, there comes uh, Siri, but I think we are good to go. Okay, let's rock and roll, folks. Yeah. Let's rock and roll, full power. Uh, let's get the flaps up. To t let's get them up to ten. Of course, going uphill again. Overloaded aircraft. Uh, I kind of at the beginning of the run, but let's see how this goes. Uh, maybe I'll take the weight off in a way. But I'm on the ground and I have like a. Uh 20 knots over the wings already and I haven't even moved <laughs> no, I'm going uphill now, it's going to be trouble ahead folks uphill, no indications full right rudder for some reason full right rudder, no 34 knots Okay. Go 60 on. knots oh, oh, oh. No. panic panic rotation no panic rotation here, we don't do panic because I, I took off the wrong way Okay. So will I make it over this hill this is what happens now, where's the wind? The wind is to my right, so let's just gently squeeze over to the side to the left. Oh, gently squeeze over to the left. Will I make it up the cell? 56 knots, I think I will. See, the ground's coming up to meet me. Autopilot on. The wind is going to help me. Oh, let me get over the cell. Look how low I am. You know, scary bears. Right, we made it. Pops up. So. Uh, now let's take that weight off and see what happens for the rest. Uh, autopilot now. Let's get the autopilot on. Autopilot's on. So now we have we uh, stall. some time until we are at Echo Golf Echo Hotel. Echo Golf Echo Hotel confirmed. Oh, I'm going to be dreaming about that stall morning tonight. I can tell you that much. <laughs> now, let's take the weight off, folks, right? Now, uh, I'm going to put this... Oh, please go to the other screen. Will it? Will it do it? Now, what I'm going to do is... Oh, wow. Bear with me now, folks. Get these windows sorted out. What I'm going to do, folks... I'm going to take that weight off. If I can get this window sorted out. Come on. Okay, I can kind of get this window sorted out. Payload. Okay, now, uh, payload's at 193%. Ha <laughs> ha! So, uh, my speed is 56 knots. Have a look here. And I'm, I'm at 350 meters, 10 degrees. 350 feet per minute climb is 10 degrees, right? So. I'm going to take the weight off to normal. Uh, to, 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 oh, to zero, if I can. This window's all bugged, bugged, bugged. So, ready? There goes the, there goes the weight. Then we're going straight away to five degrees. Oh, I've crashed the same, have I? Okay, payload's gone. Right, great. Go away. Uh, we're now down to 5 degrees and we're accelerating like a lunatic. So, there's a weight off. So now we can have a little bit of mo bit more normality. Uh, next waypoint to confirm is Echo Hotel, yes. So a little bit to go. Autopilot doesn't seem to be behaving itself. That's because it's not on nav mode. Nav mode is now activated. Come on. It's on roll for some reason. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Well, oh, the autopilot's acting up. Let's switch it off. Well, you probably have to go heading and intercept. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. I just assumed it would turn on to it.
It's Let's like, intercept. I, I, I like, you know, where you have the sparseness of the the islands, right? So on every time, every so often, like a wee little village pops up. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look outside now in a second. Let's have a look outside, folks. Ooh, very nice. It's getting a bit dull, though, because I've got it set in the evening. Yeah. So I'm going to set the time to a little bit more brighter, so if you're viewing pleasure, folks. There we go. There we go. And we're intercepting. Now let's reactivate the autopilot. Uh, it's on now. Oh, it automatically goes to nav. Yeah. Brilliant. Because I was thinking to myself when I was doing that, don't forget what you've just done. You know? Don't get chatting about the views and stuff because it'll it'll just, you know, and it does it automatically. How cool is that? Okay, let's go to showcase view. There is someone flying alongside me. Who's that? Who would this be? Let's see. Oh, it's not showing up on the tag. There's copper hat there behind me. You know, we haven't flown for a long time. We haven't flown the uh, the Junkers, the Ju-52. That's very true. This must take place. Yeah. There's someone floating along in the TBM. Maybe if I zoom out. It's in car. There we go. It's in car. I saw somebody is um, flying the uh, uh, twin otter around there, right? Yep. So, like, I there, there was another update for the twin otter. I wonder if the sound has been improved in that yoke. Oh yes, yes, I saw that there this, uh, today when we started before when I was getting yeah. ready for the stream, and I was going to oh, I updated. No, I'll wait because it was take ages to update. So yeah, I'm wondering as well. Has anyone seen that in the chat? Has anyone seen the, the sound improve at all? Or the Twin Otter? It's like, I like the plane. It's just a shame about the sound. Yeah, it is a big shame. A bit, they really dropped the ball on that one. By the way, Colonel Clink, DCS Duck says there's an aircraft selector window in developer mode and you can actually switch aircraft. Oh, okay. So you can do it. Oh, there's all the, the tags back. Johnny F says the sound is still bad. Oh, okay. Pity. Let's see what they're saying in YouTube here. David Taylor saying, uh, you know, it's good to set the weather to the sunset in the last landing. Flight Sim UK, he says, he built his own GNS 530. Oh, did he? He couldn't get it on with the mouse fiddling. I don't know why. Wow. He built her own? Wow. That's impressive. That's very impressive. Uh, that is very impressive. You know, some people build their own cockpits. They're really impressive too. Oh, look at that. How many people are with us? So can't it's usually it goes up to twenty five folks, so we we can know it'll only display twenty five people at a time. But there's a lot of you here. Uh, oh yeah. Uh I want to give you just again folks on both chats on YouTube and on Twitch. I'm going to paste in the Discord just in case if you missed out. There's one on Twitch there. Uh and they're they're invited to the Discord. Uh, you know, for example, uh DCS Ducks there, uh, he's he's gonna help me hopefully uh, when I get to it. With TCS world, you know. Uh, so we're all very helpful to each other. It's all very polite and nice. And uh, newbies, of course, are looked after. Yeah. You know, new people are looked after. Um, new people are certainly looked after. Uh, we're now coming around the mountain till she comes. I'll declutter there. Uh, there's only a Reaper there. Uh, a RH64 CDN. There's Smurf. Not know a lot. Uh, Steve Stemmen. 
Uh, 10 hash and another number. Cerebral pair, Nighthawk, Sling, Maljons. Used to be Maljon Wales. Do you remember? Used to be Wales. Wales. Uh, two, three Sierras back. No, not a lot. Davo, Smurf, your mama. I had Rhodes, Premier Ant. Uh, who else can I see? You guys can see it. There's Travo. Travo 10. Uh, that's all I can see. Cockpit. What a view from the cockpit, folks. Let me look if I declutter there now. Do you know? If you saw a picture of that, you'd be going, oh yeah, that's a real picture. You know, it's just... It's incredible. Uh, Flight Sim UK, I'll post a pic on GNS 530 DIY version. Do, yeah, post it on the Discord. Flight Sim, we'd love to see this kind of stuff we'd like to see. You know? Absolutely, yeah. This is the kind of stuff, you know, we'd like to see. And you know, I, I really want to spend more time in the Discord. Uh, so. In fact, I'm going to tell everyone to unbox the buttons. I think I told you all about this before, the autopilot, but I don't think... So, the, um, we're coming up now at Echo Golf Echo Hotel, and, um, yeah, it's probably, uh, landing south, and, uh, yeah, no, we'll be fine, not a bother. Yeah, if anyone's building your cockpit, uh, anything interesting, anything you bought, you know, anything you have, uh, pop it on the old Discord there, folks, you know? There's Flight Sim, he's in, he's in chat there now, and he's just posted a picture of his setup there. Let me just make sure i got the right person there now. This is from... Yeah, I'm Flight Sim UK in chat, great. So, this is the setup here. We'll make that bigger. Uh, yeah, very nice. So, so, nice little setup. Very tidy. He's got the. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't make the picture. I'm gonna make this bigger. All plus, control plus, control plus. So, you know, there's the obviously the GNS. It looks like he's using some t maybe a tablet or something. Uh, and then he's got the Cytec, just like me, I have all three. I have all three of those. Uh, nice joystick, Xbox controller there, some lights around, very tidy, very nice. Very nice setup there. That's very cool. Thank you for that. So yeah, take the old invoice to the Discord, you never know when you might need it. Uh, we've got some sections there for newbies, for problem solving, and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and there's a voice chat there, you know. Uh, I intend to use the voice chat because these, I don't know how, I kind of learned how to fly the uh, FA-18. And I could fly rockets, I could fire rockets and some bombs, and then I stopped doing it for some reason. Uh, but, you know, I, I do intend to go on to the Discord and open up a chat and, and see if, uh, you know, get some help with that. So we got this and one more. So we're the second last one. Here we go. I think we the runway. Better start descending anyway. Yeah, no, it's like I'm just turning base. There it is over here, is it? Over here. I love the way you can see all the lights of the, all the other aircraft, even though the labels aren't there. Interesting. There's the runway. There's someone coming in there now. The DA-42. Some people have arrived already. And I think I have a freeware or a, a payware version of the next, the last airport, which is Sumbra. Yes, yeah, Sumbra. I knew there was something I recognised. The Sumbra, I have it down. I'm sure of it. I have a, a, a fancy scenery for this one. Uh, it's the uh, it's the Islander video that I did in that. No, it's it's a Microsoft scenery that is. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like um, it's one of the ones which they did up. 
Maybe it's that one then. Uh, where am I going? I don't know. Where am I going? Oh, I'm overhead. Yeah. Far back? I'm just on final. Put my eyes on the... Let's get down. From oh, 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 let's not overdo it. My eyes on it there. There's the chopper. I just don't see the darn thing. Where are you? Where are you, runway? There he is. So I'll take a right turn, come in for final. Good, good, good. So I don't think there was any stuttering this week, folks, on the on the on the Twitch or on the YouTube. I think I have it fairly well optimized now. If there was some stuttering, let me know. There it is. I'm still way too high. Let's <laughs> somewhere flops down. Uh, good, good. We do some nice gentle less turns. We get our way down. Some altitude and speed. Wouldn't like to be a passenger though. No, this one, but this one is uh, actually not too bad to do the crosswind landing. Yeah. There we go. Last turn. Easy. A little bit too slow there now. Get to the engine. Get on it. So, without looking at the wind, you can tell where the wind's coming from by the way the aircraft's flying, which is brilliant. It really is very good. A little bit slow, seriously slow, but look, we can do in a short field. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, yeah, wasn't too bad. Nice short field landing there, folks. Brakes on. Let's have a look and see what that looked like. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. Uh, replay. Replay. Pause replay. Oh, my God. Resume replay. Let's hop outside. Up outside. Little bit from the side, a little bit of crazy amount is going on, I know that. A little bit slow. And look at all the airplanes at the end. Oh, short field. Pop it on there. Pop it on. There we go. Not bad. Didn't get a clap though. There's someone behind me there doing the same thing. It's oh. just, you know, not on if I didn't give you a clap. It's graceful. Yeah. It's disgraceful. Everybody's having that problem. Poor fellas. Right, let's go for the next one. Of course, what am I going to do? I'm going to do this properly this time. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to take off properly. I'm going to use the whole runway. Aren't I? I mean, let's see how better this goes, folks. Let's see how the whole runway I'm out. There, there we go. There we go. Uh, let's... Oh, 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 oh. Hit the Y button. Let's get the cockpit. Get the flaps up. We want 10 degrees of flaps only. Make sure I what a butter smooth landing. Thank you. A little bit better late than ever. And park back off. On full power. And off we go. Now you'll see the speed building up a lot quicker. The rudder is not good though. 20 knots already. As before it took ages. The rudders are still screwed up big time. Stop that with the rudders. 54 knots already. Up we go. 
See how quick we took off that time, folks. Uh, without all that weight, how much, e how easier it was. Flaps up. Uh, and we're taking a left turn, I think, for the next airfield, aren't we, Colonel Clink? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you're taking off the same way I am. And flaps are up, gears fixed. Landing that off. Da -da 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 -da. The last hop. The last hop. Interesting. So it's about six miles out. Yep. Um, let's pop on the autopilot. Hmm. No, autopilot's not happy. Autopilot is definitely not happy. Let's go direct. Well, first of all, let's just set it on heading. You can see it, like, you know, so it's like yeah. just the island out there. Yeah, I just wanted to see why it wasn't doing the right thing, is all. You know, I just wanted to see because I want to have a look at it before we get there and slow down a little bit. Uh, I'll flap up. Um, yeah, I just want to. Yeah, it's time to go the wrong way. Anyway, let's not worry about that there. Not that much power off. Wow. Let's hop outside. Let's have a quick look before we get there, shall we, folks? Come on, come on, full power, please. Yeah, this is this is very detailed. Is that it? Yeah, this is the one I did the video on the uh, the islander, the islander. Yeah. So let me just get the camera still here. Look at the detail here, folks, right? I'm going to definitely have to record this one. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the stone walls. You know? The fence in either side. Do they really need that fence in either side? <laughs> in re You know, in reality, I wouldn't have the fence there. Look at the detail. That looks absolutely superb. And there's some people there already. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I'm overhead. That was quick. Auto pilot off. Power back. Uh, I want to come in for the sea, so uh, we're trying to come overhead now. Just on the left downwind. There we go. They're all coming over from the sea. It's going to be packed. There's not a lot of room for parking here, folks. No. Uh, replay. We'll have a... Oh, set it. Recorder on. Recorder's on for the replay. Uh, I'm going to fly that s this somewhat responsibly. 1,000 feet. Let's take a right turn. Very busy now, folks. Decluttering. Look at the tower, uh, the, the lighthouse there. Where's the runway? There it is. I'm way off. I'm way off. That 
that's not good at all. And I've got to fix it now, and that's going to screw everything up. Now, get into a stable approach. Here we go. Get on the center line. Come over that little hill here. Bit of a right turn. Oh, 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 not too slow, not too slow, not too slow. This is one of the really good ones. This is what this is the best little runway ever. We gotta come here, Colonel Clink. Oh, someone crashed into the sea! Murder, death, kill John Spartan. Okay, we're coming in. 63 knots. Power off. Into the wind. Do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Breaky, breaky, break, break. Breaky break. Oh, wasn't so bad That's after all. Land an aircraft. There you go. That'll end my night now nicely. That'll end the night for me night nicely. I'm going to come away now, give everyone else some room. Come, I'm going to taxi to the end of the runway. It's so detailed and so authentic looking. Colonel Clank, this runway. Yes, no, right it certainly is. Uh, I'm going to park up here quickly and watch everyone else come in and land. Park and break on. Let's hop outside. Loads coming in behind me. Look at that! <laughs> Everyone's coming in. That's obviously a chopper there. There's one coming in there very nicely. Everyone's coming in here very nicely. They've even got the kind of sides of the runway all mushed up. Oh! Boom! Here comes someone else here coming in. Oh! Bit of a bouncy bounce bounce there on the old... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Here we are, short final. Oh, is this you, Colonel Click? I'll put the tags on now. <laughs> well, that's Florida fella, I don't uh, make it difficult, Florida fella. Here comes Florida fella. Florida fella coming in nicely. Oh, somebody crashed into the cliffs there. Very nice, Florida fella. Very nice. Florida fella is uh, obviously a, an old hand at this. Everyone's being polite and taxing to the end. That's how cool is that? Who else have we got? I can't see Colonel Clink yet, though. Oh, it's, uh, just about, it's just about to touch down. Oh, I can't see it. It's very annoying. So it'll only allow 25 minutes at a time. That's the problem. Uh, and people are appearing and, and disappearing. But we'll see if we can see Colonel. Look at the detail of that, folks. Let's declutter. Look at that. I mean, can you imagine living here? Oh, you really want to be in aviation head to be living here. You know? There, I remember reading up. Is that kind of blank there, maybe? It's at the end, and I'm just trying to find myself some space here. Oh, I miss very of busy. Very, 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 very busy. Look at that. <laughs> we have to close the airport. There's too there's, many aircraft. There's no more space for nobody. <laughs> well done, everyone. Everyone did well. That was a good ending. Uh, I think that was a good ending to, to the Sunday night stream, folks. But I have to say, this is really good. Microsoft did. Uh, Asobo did this. You can tell. Yeah, no, you that know? is uh, that is one of the uh, uh, Makey Uppy airports, uh, like you know, the ones which they did did up. Yeah. Uh, stone walls even over here. It's really quite cool. I mean, you could have a great Call of Duty game in here, <laughs> firefight here, couldn't you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know. Uh, that's how good it is. There's a ship there. Uh, wow. The bridge going across and everything. They've, they've got like three shops here. Do you know? Superb, everybody. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Colonel Clink, once again. What would we do without Colonel Clink? Uh, that is some scenery, I have to say. It really is. Colonel Clink, we might go here for real. Yeah, why not? Do you know? Uh, absolutely stunning. Stunning uh, flight plan, as always, kind of thing. Uh, I'm hoping to have my new little autopilot thing uh, by next week, folks. I'll probably stream with it during the week. Uh, so there you go. What time is it now? It's 23.42. Uh, we, we, we're two, we're almost three hours into the stream, folks. Uh, I hope to be on during the week. I know I keep saying that. I was on last week or the week before. Well, the week before it was. 
Uh, I know it's random. I, I just have to get my life. It'll happen soon now. Things are getting, I'm getting, hopefully I'm getting out of the COVID nonsense as we all are and getting back to normal life. Uh, Robert uh, Rhodes says, let's go to the pub. I'm buying. Yeah, all to the pub. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get, you get trashed in an island like this, wouldn't you? You get yeah. trashed. What else is there to do but have a few pints? Oh, yeah, no, it's like you land there, you go, you get some grub and you get a pint. Yeah, uh, Col- Colty uh, says uh, we're invading the island. Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks fantastic, folks. Folks, thank you very much for joining us once again. We'll be back next Sunday, 2100 hours Irish UK time. I hope We've- everybody enjoyed this. I think they did. I think this is one of the better ones. One of the best ones, Carla Craig. It's busy. Uh, yeah. I didn't, you know, one after the other, we had nine airports and I didn't forget one airport and fly overhead like I usually do sometimes while I'm busy chatting. Yeah, uh, you, did, you, you did good this time. <laughs> uh, I did a little bit better, except my landings I wasn't happy with. Uh, thank you, everyone. There's Karen saying thanks for all the giggles. <laughs> Beautiful scenery and lovely stream. And a special thank you to Gripper Sim and Colonel Clink. Uh, that's uh, from Ronnie you, Ripper and, and Karen. Thank you very much. Uh, and Gianni F73. Thanks again, Gripper Sim and Colonel Clink, and everyone who joined in. Um, thanks, Gripper and Carl King. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, David Taylor and Inkar, I, I can't mention you all. And thank you all for those of you who subscribe uh, and are members on the YouTube channel uh, and all that kind of stuff. That's just great. Uh, and you know what? Hopefully next weekend, can't think you won't be happy to hear this. If that PMD G3 is out next weekend, you know what we'll be doing? Uh, no. The PMD G737. Yeah, but we're going to fly something which doesn't have jets attached to it. <laughs> I do that. I do that during the week. I'll, I'll, def- I'll, I'll have a video out for that. I'll have a video. We we'll keep our we we'll keep our thing via four and stuff like ah, that. Sure, the week. Like we, well, we, we 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 may do we may do another IFR. Like I know it's like it's just not. Uh, um, it's not. It's yeah. I know. It's it's it's, it's, not, it's not as it's, it's as not useful as, for for this. Like you know. Yeah, no. This is better fun. This is what everyone expects during the weekend. That we we'll keep it as via four during the week of the crazy madness. Sorry, on Sundays we keep the crazy madness. Let's save that for Sundays uh, and your flight plan. So, uh, yeah. So if the PMTG comes out during the week, this week or next week, I'll be on it uh, streaming and videos and all sorts of stuff. So there you go. I won't keep you any more, folks. Have a great sleep tonight, depending, of course, what part of the world you're in. And, uh, you know, I will, I will, myself and current Clink will see you next Sunday. Yeah. Everybody, thanks so much. Have a good week, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks, everybody. See us. Goodbye.